So lucky it wouldn't mind. So I am as well, but I'm still I'm still on the wiser. <laughs> so are you saying we're starting? Uh yes, I have started. The stream Green has cat. I almost had my microphone muted for uh, for Twitch. How bad would that have been? <laughs> Pretty Green good, cat. Guys. I can't uh, the, remember. Someone help. The, the cultists are terrorists and we have to stop them. You and snuck in, you stole the Cherry felt my like butter. Yeah. Dusty, um so, so I just jump off a cliff. Oh yeah, hey, that that's not true. That that's was, I was getting to that. <laughs> Dude, you practically killed yourself when you chased after those guys. There was so <laughs> many that was there was so many possible outcomes and Dusty threaded the needle on just On every <laughs> choice. On every choice to create I, I feel like there might have been one or two decisions you could have made a little bit worse that would have resulted in a death. But you so, got real close. Yara is dead. Or not yeah, Yara. Yara. How you could possibly have worse decision making than everything Dusty did last session. <laughs> so Dusty is dead. Yeah, my Tassi is going to try and work on that with him. <laughs> It'll take a while, I'm sorry. Yeah, she's going to put you in the fucking simulation and like, give you like Kobe Akimaru's and fucking. Okay, so this is the time we've done this, Jara, Dusty. What do you do next? No, I... you don't approach, approach the drug addict. Why would you ever do that? No, you don't jump off the cliff. He had good intentions with the approach, just the execution was lacking. The execution was non-existent. <laughs> the execution was himself. The execution was the guy he dropped. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I could have death ordered myself. I didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know at the time either. <laughs> no, that's about the only thing I could have done at that point. It's pretty sick. <laughs> it's pretty sick that you actually had that board. Is Paladins get that? Um, yeah. That's pretty cool. Let me check. <laughs> that it's not like one I had myself. I'm pretty sure it's. But I feel like I let you keep your cleric spell list, but. No, yeah, it says self, death ward. Like, I did choose it. But I, I don't remember choosing death ward. So I, I feel like I had a good reason to choose it, I think. I don't know if I had. Choosing death ward is. is I, I think death ward was a good call considering how often you, you know, die. You die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, so uh, Dusty's been taken away to uh, summer camp. Uh, to, to get a little bit extra schooling. Oh, that's what we're calling it. Um, a bit longer. Uh, you guys have kind of found some incriminating evidence leading to, for you to believe that the cult is planning some kind of uh, some kind of attack um, on on town hall. Uh, however, you you've still only got a very small bit of the picture. Uh, I think your clues are the bomb maker. And actually, I think that's about it. I think that's all you got. <laughs> I think you're right. I think that's it. Yeah, that's they, make oh, really, and been... they make really nice cakes. And yeah, I've got Some a might say they are the bomb. Roadie or whoever. <laughs> yeah, you've got your... Don't give brick ideas now. But we're assuming that's probably not going to be too intense. <laughs> you assume. Yeah, this is some entry-level move job. Oh. Right, so uh, I can't remember exactly where we left off. Um, we left off. We're meeting up with what's his face? Bantam. Bantam, yeah, Bantam. yeah, outside the hospital. So that's it. So yeah. you guys are leaving the hospital after saying goodbye to Dusty. Um, <laughs> uh, for now. Was he in a bottle when he left? Uh, was he in a bag, no, baby? He, was on, he, was, he was on an operating table uh, with an in a bottle, though. Uh, why? Why? Uh, yeah, it's a good, good question. Where, where are you get this from? Dude? Liquid Jared. <laughs> Liquid Dusty. That's what I'm thinking. Liquid Dust? Liquid Dusty. Is that a yeah. Metal Gear Solid character? <laughs> well, when, when 
Mytassian renders them back down to the sludge that she created the body, he will be liquid for time. <laughs> oh no! Not that you know that. Nice. Send nudes. <laughs> <laughs> Send goop. Send goop, oh god. Uh, yeah, so you guys meet, uh, you guys go through the front door of the hospital, which is a active hospital in the crime town, so it's pretty busy. Um, and outside, fully kitted up in riot control gear, um, sticking out like a bit of a sore thumb, pretty tall, I would imagine. Yeah. I think he's probably like 6'3", is uh, Chief, so. Chief, Chief Bantham, who is going to be controlled by Jared until the end of this little arc. Right, you lot. Ready to go? <laughs> what, mate? <laughs> All right. Do you always have that accent, Bantham? <laughs> oh, there's change. <laughs> All right, mate. Day. How's your father? <laughs> Fuck off. I don't know me father. <laughs> uh, so Room just to... could be one of six men. <laughs> Flash out. Uh, just so, just to clarify <laughs> something. Um. I will. Bantham is my character first and foremost, which I'm letting Jared play. If uh, if he if I feel like he would do something in the situation, or he should do something in the situation, mm -hmm. or he would know something or not know something, I'll be kind of tugging a little bit at the strings, steering a little bit at times. Totally okay with that. Uh, especially because he was an active character in the story and he still has a role to play in it. Mm -hmm. um, so with that in mind. Uh, if I I might kind of put one hand on the steering wheel. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Time. I figured you. Yeah, know. yeah. Um. Right. Yeah. So Bantham, I'm just trying to think where we are in the timeline here. Um. Still like mid afternoon, right? Yeah. The meetup for the mission for Gavin that was uh, this 1 night. One a.m. Yeah. This night. Yeah. Uh. Right, so, Bantham, you probably would have been briefed uh, by Polly on the preparations they're taking at Town Hall. Um, right. So, uh, you would have been commanding people to conduct a sweep of the premises for any bomb threats, potentially, as well as moving people uh, to kind of uh, a more secure location, bringing the staff down to, like, a, a skeleton staff, just in case. Uh, things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess you uh, convey to the party. Yeah. So, what's the plan moving forward then? How do we best tackle this? Pollyanna seemed to think it might be best if we don't stop them, let them know that we're on to them. I think it was more a case of she doesn't want to evacuate Town Hall and give the cable. I'll give them a heads up. Yeah, and let yeah. Them... yeah. We don't want to let them know that we know. So, we're going to have to try and deal with this before it actually goes off, which is going to be roughly a, sometime around one o'clock this morning. Uh, and the only lead we have to go on is the bomb maker, and we don't know who he is. Bamford, you know, you, you absolutely yeah, know this guy. I'm pretty sure we were told who they were. I know, oh, yeah. I, know the I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> it's, uh, he's... I was an emotional wreck at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Can't imagine why. Uh, the bomb maker is a very curious individual known as Apple Boy. <laughs> you can't keep dropping shit like this, <laughs> Brock. Bomb maker e equals Apple Boy. Got it. You've uh, dealt with him on several occasions. <clears throat> Do I know where to find him? Oh, yeah. I know where to find the Apple Boy. What do you think's best? Should we just go have it out with him right now, see what he knows, or well, play it smooth? I check my watch. What time is it? Let's call Your it watch? 3 p.m. That's a marvelous mechanical You've device. Where'd you get that? The bomb maker. No, stop no. it. <laughs> <laughs> what does it exist? The Are you? Maker. We, we, there's fucking robotic hands in this fucking campaign. Watches have been solved. That's, how, that's what fucking halflings do, the tinker halflings and shit. Good from George Tinkleton. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. 
Tinker, down, and down level 50. Tinker oh. Taylor Soldier Spy. Yeah. So, um... Ten, ten hours. Ten hours to get the sources. So, we don't need to rush away quickly. We're also going to need to eat at some point. Um... I don't know. How are you guys feeling about? Hey, at the meeting, I'm just going to say this. They made some really nice cakes. Marvellous. Fascinating. <laughs> Chief Kelgan, what do you think about this? What, what's this? <laughs> yeah, so Keo, just to kind of bring you up, you were kind of playing it pretty cool at the uh, at the meeting. They, they went more for Gavin than you. Um, so uh, you kind of just... Kind of Was it not like a, a literal flex off as well? Yeah, you you flexed off with one of the goons at the at the cult meeting. Sure. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Obviously, obviously. You very yeah. much one. Yeah. You're level fourteen. Oh, also the most important thing. Uh, me and Cherry have formed a new um, a tag <laughs> team duo that we've decided I, I, that you are going to be a member of. So it's not a it's it's, uh, it's not a duo anymore. It's a trio. We are now officially known as the Titty Committee. Titty Committee. <laughs> Is it Titty Committee or Titty Committee? I thought it was Titty. I think we said Titty was better. Titty, titty Committee. Okay. Yeah, that's me, you, and Sherry. We're the Titty Committee. Perfect. I feel like Keo probably has the biggest two. Oh, easily. <laughs> if, if we're talking about surface yeah. area and volume, then yeah. <laughs> For sure. That's insane. Not that, that, that would just be, like, the, to convert that onto Mila's frame would be... <laughs> Be, her be, I wouldn't yeah, be, be able an to stay character. standing up. <laughs> I've seen yeah. this anime before. I've seen yeah, that hentai have. before. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so... That's kind of your only lead, really, the bomb maker. Yeah, let's go. Unless you guys want to grab food? Yeah, it's the only really option we have moving forward, so let's go. Oh, oh. there she is. Um, Hatsu, a... how big are Cherry's boobs? <laughs> We're discussing who uh, has the biggest boobs in the titty committee. Oh, Kyo. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what the said. This yeah. was the resounding conclusion. If, okay. If you're not big on me, I just wanted like, to confirm. I mean, she has them. Yeah, you know. Phew! Bless you. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I'm dying! <laughs> Uh, well then, um, I owe Cherry some snacks, so going for dinner or lunch or whatever meal you would have this time of day, like, we could do that and discuss what we want to do further. Well, how, how long would it take to get to the, the Apple Boy? No, it doesn't take long to get anywhere in this okay. town. Yeah, that's yes. what you need to catch up on, Hatsu. The bomb maker is actually known as Apple Boy, literally. I mean, I imagine that. Cherry probably knows that. <laughs> oh yeah, Cherry, Cherry, Cherry is probably familiar. I don't know if you've ever met, but you would know him by reputation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go to find some delicious snacks and proper food for everybody else. So uh, that's good because my there's, pockets are empty. There's all kinds of kind of like different cultural foods here. There's a lot of Cuban food actually. A lot of like. Um, like spicy kind of uh almost like uh, i guess i guess like tapas like trays of like little bits and bobs mostly all spiced uh, i feel like meal is too white for this yeah absolutely i was just about to say <laughs> is there anything like meal is too uh, elegant for this so no 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 it's, it's, i don't know white people can't handle spice <laughs> we're, uh, we're terrible at it actually come up uh kubla is very much a mix of ancient egypt and ancient rome um, kind of a mishmash of both. Um, oh, good! I'll have a salad. But, but the uh, the cuisine is definitely like Egyptian, like Middle Eastern cuisine. Um, it's my town. Well, not really, but. Oh yeah, you would have eaten shit tons. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, I'll buy everybody there? lunch. Um, is there anything like sweet wise, like or you know, cheesy stuff? I don't know. Uh, Make sure Middle Eastern food, in. they do really, really nice sweets. Oh yeah, they do, don't they? Mm. They do, though, don't they, though? 
tried to do. Tried to do. <laughs> to uh, there's like elfish food, dwarven food, um, yeah. Frisian food, which is really kind of no one likes it. Uh, it's, it, it's like uh, it's like Scandinavian food. Like who can name a single Scandinavian dish? Like they bury a shark. Monk. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Not to, not to shit on, on on your cuisine, I but I there's actually... a lot of really nice sweets though too. I don't know if that counts. Swedish food. Their seafood as well. Fucking lovely. Ah, mm. uh, but seafood's not a big thing here. There's oh, like. Lovely. Yeah, there's literally yeah, like I was gonna say, yeah, there's not a lot of We've lakes in the yeah, Where are we fishing? Yeah. Yeah, so so there's only no, really the concept one, of an ocean. Th there's only one known ocean and it lies somewhere beyond the silver forests. Oh. And it's it's like kind of like the edge of the world esque with like in Tolkien. Yeah. Um so it's not exactly somewhere that has a thriving fishing industry. Most fish comes from places like Winchester, like Great Lakes. Um so so it's just freshwater fish really. Uh, so it exists, but there's not really huge food cultures around it the same way there is here mm -hmm. in real world. Um, or you can just have like roast meat and chips and stuff, which is just kind of like human food. Gotta, gotta eat healthy. I'll go for some fish and chips. Oh yeah, way. I imagine elven food's like lemon quinoa, uh, avocado. It's pronounced fat. quinoa <laughs> actually. <laughs> oh yeah, have you got any avocado on toast going? Uh, is that uh no, it's it's avocado on lem on lemba spread. I, I will have some avocado on lemba spread. That sounds marvelous. <laughs> one one bite can feed you the entire day. Good landers. And then you check you eaten three of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean that sounds oh, good for enjo for travel, but not enjoyment. Yeah, it's it's. Like elven flatbreads. So anyway, you guys eat a lovely dish. You can probably like bounce from place to place. Like someone's like, "Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have some of that," and someone's like, "Oh, I'll have some of that." Um. So yeah, the, the, there's a yeah, and and there is drow food here as well. There's like bug skewers. Oh um, god, not again. <laughs> um. Dry roasted and like glazed bugs and stuff, which probably actually really nice. Yeah. I'm all over oh, wait, no. that. Meliana did actually try that in, in, uh, in the Underdark, didn't she? Yeah, but those were like big meaty bugs. Those were like monster bugs. These are more like actual, like, real world bug cuisine. Um, like crickets and stuff. I'm gonna roll a die, let me see. That's a 12, it's over a 10. Go ahead, I'll, I'll have some bugs. I feel like those are easier to eat anyway, because they're like... <laughs> they're like, yeah, they're like bite-sized. And crunchy. Yeah, it's very yeah. crunchy. Not... Pulp. You guys have really put me off here. Like I've, I just feel ill listening to you guys describe this. <laughs> I would, I would, I would hella eat bugs. Like proper, like cuisine cooked bugs. Hell yeah, it's all protein. Yeah. Uh, that, that, yeah, I think Bantam has those. <laughs> Bantam's like crunch, crunch, crunch. He's got like a skewer in each hand. He's like fucking love bugs. Ugh. Oh, bugs. <laughs> And I will also oh, wow. make sure the cherry's pockets are thoroughly refilled with snacks that I ate. Are you putting pockets. snacks in my pockets? Yourself? No, I mean, I'm buying them for you going, here you go, pocket snacks. Oh, okay. I was like, what do you mean you're making yep. sure that there's snacks in my pockets? <laughs> that would be a really odd fucking, like, behavior for me, Liana, to, to develop, wouldn't it? Just randomly start putting snacks in yeah. people's pockets. <laughs> the traditional <laughs> pocket bacon. Uh, well, I was actually going to say more like um, hard uh, dwarf candies. Pocket <laughs> Like you can, it's like a gobsock. You, you can literally suck on it for like three hours. It's amazing. The fantasy Worthers. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> hard, yeah, hard, hard boiled sweet and the good shit, hair drops and stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cola cubes, best ones. They're very good. Uh, okay, so uh, you're all fed, and as you're kind of wandering around, you're just kind of vaguely making your way to the bomb maker, who actually has a establishment. Um, David, pretty please. On the, yeah, Sorry. you need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty I'm high up my mic, and I'm going to talk. 
uh, pretty high up on one of the towers. Um, so, so <clears throat> pretty prime time real estate location. Um, it's free real estate. <laughs> 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 I've been hit with that meme in so long. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's a, a very flashy place. Um, not exactly trying to hide its trade in any capacity at all. There's like um, lit up signs. Uh, you're not quite sure. Uh, they're kind of like neon tubes, but you're not quite sure what's powering them. They look magical. But it's like flashing like different sized explosions and like body parts going flying and um, just like zapped up corpses and stuff, just kind of like big cartoonettes kind of everywhere. <clears throat> That's as subtle as a honey badger on crack then. <laughs> I keep forgetting we're in a crime town. Nobody would bat an eyelid at this shit, would they? Uh, no, no, not at all. Um, there's, there's a decent amount of foot traffic. It's, there's like a big kind of warehouse area attached to it. It's kind of like a garden center, but for explosives. Um, <laughs> and there's a big glowing uh, sign above the entrance that just says the Apple Store. Mm. So, um, what's the play here? Do we try and force the information out of him, or do we bribe him? I think I'm gonna go buy myself a bomb. I was wrong? gonna say, should we get bombs first and then threaten him? You mean uh, cherry, uh, cherry, cherry shots at our knives? <laughs> you mean buy bombs off him and then threaten him with the bombs? That's quite genius, actually. I like that plan. No, that would be silly because then we use the bombs on him, but we only use them on the cultists. So keep the bombs. This, this man has quite the reputation in town. For what? I don't think that should be our first priority. For bombs. I mean, that, wait, doesn't Asmolean have bombs anyway? Yeah, lots of bombs. I assume Asmolean would just want more bombs. Yeah, don't does. tell him. Don't tell him this place is here, otherwise. I already did. <sighs> I, that happened last session because they were like, "Don't tell Asmol with the bombs." So I immediately ring shouted him and said, "There's bombs." <laughs> Yo, Asmol, there's fucking bombs here, lad. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be why he got out of bed. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Okay, and so um, let's just. Uh, I mean, uh, Captain Bantam, is there anything you'd you'd recommend? See, I don't know this place as well as Bantam. Um, I I can uh, I think it's safe to assume that attacking him would be a very bad thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, this place is full of um hired strong like muscle. Yeah. Uh, specifically to protect the merchandise. Yeah, and he's very uh, useful to lot. His people. business is booming, um, so he can afford quite a lot of good security, um, yeah. good muscle. <laughs> his business is booming. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's also he, he's also absolutely rise, off his rocker. Um, so if anyone was going to be blowing either party up, he would most he would probably be the one who's most prepared to just yeah. It's like you imagine that every every inch of this building is rigged to explode, and he's just yeah. constantly carrying the detonator just in case. Yeah, that won't won't end well for us. Mm. Um, you have known him to take bribes, though. Okay. Um, he has been known to take bribes. How much is this going to put us out? Well, we'll have to find out, won't we? All right, then. Ready if you are. Yeah, I'm pay for it. Uh... <laughs> Probably quite. <laughs> I, I, at this point, like, like I'm yeah, looking exactly. over at his molly and I'm like, I'm time, for the, time for the pay slut to fucking roll up. <laughs> no, I uh, merely on drawing a line. He's like, we've got party funds, right? Oh, okay. We found the line. It's called the Bank of Miliano, is it not? No, <laughs> it's not. I think I've been more than generous with my money in the past couple of weeks, don't you, Flynn? Dusty's fucked off and now it's Mila 2, 2.0. I love this. <laughs> no, it's gone back to Mila uh, 0.5. She's gone back to being a horrible bitch again. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Such a Yay! Pay for everything. Swear that's Mila. That's why I was like, yeah, we've got money. 
All right, perfect. So, who's going to chat him up? Is it me or Flynn? Actually, with me, Liana. I mean, you couldn't even chat up a dwarf, so it's pretty obvious. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> well, is that true? No, it's not. All right, not my business anyway. Yeah. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yeah, well, you, you just go, like I say, it's a big kind of open store, so you just kind of walk in. I'll walk um, in first, but I won't, like, speak. Okay. Uh, and yeah, you're you're all kind of noticed. Uh, Chief of Bossamantum's definitely just kind of. Uh, well, I mean, he was spotted probably about three towers back, and it already reached yeah. here. Yeah. Um, uh, there's definitely there is definitely a case of like, as you enter the store, Phantom, a few of the customers just kind of like turn their heads away from you slightly uh, and move <laughs> to a different part of the shop. <laughs> uh -huh. Which wow, is, you it's know... almost like they're invisible. <laughs> um, <laughs> scurrying out like side exits and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, it's the fuzz. She's at the feds. <laughs> My posture is impeccable. <laughs> is your visor up or down? Hmm. You know, it was down when I walked in, but just after I entered, I took it off. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, and a clerk Yeah, that's a vibe hot soup. And says, ah, Chief Enforcer, and uh, are, are these people with you? They are indeed. Very well. Um, this, is this receptionist for Apple Boy? Oh, this is just kind of like a, just like a store assistant, really. Yeah, okay. Uh, just kind of like a cheerful looking, um, j yeah, just a generic looking fantasy, nondescript fantasy race, nondescript uh -huh. appearance, nondescript anything. Just, hi, howdy, how can I help? I didn't know gelatinous cubes could talk. Oh, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent workers nice. to work in explosions uh, in the field of explosions. <laughs> really hard to blow up. Pull themselves back together. Yeah. <laughs> or they divide okay. and make more workers. Uh, we, uh, that's, that's a good point, yeah? <laughs> free labor! It's free. Um, could you uh, inform Apple Boy that we wish to speak to him about some uh, business? Uh, like, uh, you know, like money business? Or like, you know... Uh, bombs business. Well, obviously, and bombs money business. business. Like, are you buying or do you have uh, questions? I have, we have questions for him. And we're buying. Oh, well, okay. Uh, no problem. Uh, I'll just see if he's available for you. Uh, in private as well, if we may, please. Naturally, naturally. Just one moment, please. She uh, kind of exits through a side door, and you go to just kind of mill about in the increasingly quiet bomb shop. Uh, you, yeah, you can see <laughs> there's like... Um, there's like one wall which is covered in glass jars full with various liquids and powders and putties. Uh, there's various uh, kegs, uh, uh, barrels filled with different stuff, uh, set different devices, um, kind of like timers, like little clockwork timer mechaniz mechanisms, sticks of TNT, uh, what looks like landmines, uh, stuff that looks like grenades. Um, all kinds of different stuff. Um, and there's some really quite exotic uh, magical stuff in, on display here as well, behind like glass casing. Ooh. Um, like ones of fireballs and uh, magical Ooh. rolls of various explosion stuff. Um, some potions, like potions of fire breathing. It's just a pyromaniac's wet dream in this place. Um, That's yeah. <laughs> Um, the clerk comes out and says, um, yes, the boss will see you in the office. Um, we would prefer, do, are you all coming in? It's, you know, there's quite a few of you. Um, are you could, just be, okay? could just be a couple of us if you prefer. Yeah. So, so who, who, who are we dealing with here? Is this the, are the is this the enforcers or a third party? Uh, I looked at Bantam, I'm like, a bit of both. 
bit of both. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, no problem. Okay, well, I imagine the chief and and you, uh, Mitt, are you coming? Um, if you'd like me to, yes. Uh, I, I say that to the party. Uh, yeah, and we can probably t take about yeah. two more. Two more. Um, if, I climb onto Mila's back. <laughs> <laughs> well, one more. Um, I was I'm gonna not... say, probably best if Asmolian goes. I feel like Asmolian would want to window shop out here. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm gonna go yeah. first. Yeah, for sure. I guess that leaves you then, Flynn, or Chief, if you'd like to come. Nah, hey. Flynn can take the spotlight. Okay then. Is Bantam coming in as well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. he was already a seamless. So So um, you're led into a very extravagant looking office, um, which is very open plan. There's kind of all kinds of uh, crazy shit hanging off the walls. Lots of, like, what looks like little bits of rubble it framed in, like, um, display cases. A charred, like a charred brick, a charred bit, bit of, like, pillar, it looks like. Um... <laughs> And they have like little plaques uh, uh, with like uh, place and dates on them, uh, and you can kind of put together what the story behind that is. Um, some of you might, if I mean, uh, let's do history checks to see if uh, you guys are familiar with these famous bombings. Uh, natural twenty, uh, total of uh, twenty-six. Oh yeah, this guy is okay. This guy is definitely at least, at the very least, a past terrorist, if not an active terrorist. Oh, Jesus. Ah, Osama, my good friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's all very nice to see you. How have you been? <laughs> um, I, you imagine he probably doesn't travel outside this town much. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like a haven city here. Yeah, there's, there's like some famous bombings in the capital that he must have been behind like 20, 30 years ago. Um, yeah, and, and some in uh, Kubla and Harvin, um, kind of various acts of uh, naughty business. Uh, and behind a comically large, um, solid, like dark oak uh, desk, uh, you see facing away from you guys is a swivel chair, like a like a, like a tiger pelt swivel chair, um, which is cranked really high up. Um, and uh, you hear a voice from behind the chair says, um, <laughs> Okay, Sally, you can leave now. I want to leave. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I just, look, chair, at Flynn, I just chair, look at Flynn as if to say, uh oh. <laughs> the chair spins around and uh, it's a. Teeny tiny little goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me he has a pet cat. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say, I am actually going to say that there is one of those huge cat ladder, like climbing frames in the corner of the room, and there's just three cats chilling up on it. Because <laughs> I like that image a lot. Um, yeah, there's this, like, sat on this really, like, high up. Uh, Soul chair is this goblin who is wearing a very, very well tailored suit um, and big blast goggles. Um, his skin, his face is absolutely kind of burnt up and scarred in places. Uh, and you can see he's grinning like a big smile. Each one of his fangs has a gold cap on it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and he kind of steps up so he's standing up on the chair and he kind of spreads his arms and says uh, ah chief enforcer what a delight to see you nice to see you again apple boy to what do I owe the pleasure well we have a bit of business that we couldn't do with talking about it urgently well why would anyone else come see apple boy other than a little bit of business I say over the rings, I want to leave. <laughs> 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 I'm DM, I'm DM, and not to Flynn right away. 
I don't like this guy already. Come, sit down, <laughs> sit down. I'll. How many I'll this now? I'll, I'll take a seat. <laughs> yeah, he, he, this four chairs kind of pulled up, okay. uh, like high back leather chairs, um, facing the desk. Uh, one for each of you. I am I've... sitting like on the back of Mila's chair. Right. I was yeah. gonna say like I, I imagine you like sitting on my shoulders <laughs> or something like that. Does it Apple Boy does not seem in the, like you doesn't pay any attention to anything weird happening here. That's uh, not weird. <laughs> it's just <laughs> There's weirder things that happen down here, okay? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh yeah, you're looking at one of them. <laughs> right then. <laughs> Let's get down to business. Right. What can I help you with? Oh, God. We've recently been made uh, aware of one of your recent transactions, and we want as much information as you can provide for it, uh, to provide in regards to it. Well, just so we're clear, that's going to cost you regardless. I'm well aware of that. What, okay. kind of numbers, what kind of numbers are we talking about? That depends on the job, obviously. You know, if someone came in here buying a little bit of a hand grenade, maybe like, I don't know, like 50 gold. One of the bigger jobs, you're probably looking at a couple K, darling. Well, it's in regards to the open eye, the new cult that's opened up around here recently. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was a big one. How big exactly? Ah. <laughs> uh... I'm gonna say that's about four thousand shinies, big. Uh, I say over the ring, uh, Asmolian, bring in four thousand gold, please. <laughs> Asmolian comes I in. <laughs> Asmolian comes in and dumps four thousand gold onto the desk, um, which he kind of starts like scurrying around, inspecting, nibbling on on pieces, <laughs> rubbing them together, clink, 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 clink. Like, oh, with you too. oh, this is nice gold. This is adventure gold. That's my favorite kind of gold. So, what do you know? Well, that's probably the biggest order I've ever actually done in my 20 something years of business. 4K, and this is the biggest one. Fucking hell. Well, they didn't pay me. They didn't yeah, pay I was going to say, this is just for the information. <laughs> it's just for the information. Oh, yeah. yeah how how much did that. they pay, actually? Well, so well let's see so they they were bulk buying the highest quality explosives on the market it was triple press dragon powder laced with thunder glass it does <laughs> not get bigger than that triple pressed dragon powder laced <laughs> with thunder glass apple boy specialty so Boys how much how much uh, would this come to? Uh, I think the grand total on the... Well, obviously, I, I connected them to suppliers. I don't keep that much product on me. So most of the transaction was between the Dragon, the, the dragon Powder and Thunderglass suppliers. So I believe you were the, just the, the middleman, then? Well, yes, and I also prepared the devices that they're planning to use. So my, my cut was about 20,000 gold. And I think they spent about 150,000 gold. <laughs> wow. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I don't know who the fuck these nutters are, but they've got to be very well funded. It would appear well, so. In despite of that, um, with this 4K, I'm presuming we're going to be able to see some drawings of these devices, no? Hello. Yeah. Uh, Is that something you need to see? Uh, <laughs> I I'm giving you info here. I'm not fucking yeah. doodling anything. Like uh, you, you, you you're, you're gonna get what you're gonna get. Don't presume jack shit there, little man. And I feel like, this guy I feel like it's more important so to know fun. what they do. They blow up. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. Cherry's giggling. <laughs> If I've made them, then you can fucking bet on it that they're all gonna blow up. Not had a malfunction in As your reputation my entire career. <laughs> what can you tell us about what they intend to do with them? 
Not a fucking clue. We don't ask those kind of questions because people know that we sell the answers. Well, so it might what... interest you to know that he's intending to blow up all of the government headquarters in this city. That uh, I couldn't give it less of a fuck, to be perfectly <laughs> really? honest. Well, no, I've already got my earplugs in just in case. I, you know. <laughs> I fucking hate this dude. <laughs> <laughs> like... Do you have any names or uh, descriptions of people who made these deals with you? No. You can't tell us what any of them look like. Maybe for what a little we... bit more shiny what clinkies. What have we We've already paid you 4,000 gold. I feel like that's enough. Uh, Which... Oh, is that what you feel like, princess? I feel it's reasonable to get at least a description of somebody or a name. Wow. 4,000 gold's not chunk change. You should have asked what you were buying then, shouldn't you? 1,000 more, please. Can I kill this guy? You can fucking try. <laughs> and he flips uh, not there, not there. He's got two dead man switches in either hand. <laughs> <laughs> and 20 more in his teeth. He starts dancing, he starts dancing on this chair a little. It's like... You look pretty fucking big. I want to see how many chunks you make. <laughs> I'm not I, say there the ring to, I, I say over the ring to Flynn, <laughs> how bothered are we about a thousand gold or should I try something risky? I mean... Oh, maybe, maybe we should talk old. about what your money is buying. Yeah. No, I said, I said that over the ring. No, no, no. I know. I, I, I would still say that in this context. Oh, okay. I I'm don't not think I'm replying gonna... to you. Okay. Um, so, okay then. What are, precisely are we going to get for this extra one thousand gold? Well, what you asked for? Descriptions what, of the person what I you dealt want to with. People, people names. you dealt with. And people names? you dealt with. Oh, or was well, it just one? Well, you'll have to bear you out. Well, yeah. That's part of the cost. All right, then fork it over. Anything that's really another one thousand gold. Well, another 1,000 gold. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I imagine that's really has kind of got a big shopping bag as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll, I'll retroactively work that out with Asmillion, how much yeah. he wants to buy and what he wants to buy. Yeah. Um, right then. So, I only dealt with one person, and he was named Rody, and he looked well... Like every human, really. Hmm. On, he's bro. one of the pink. He's one of the pink ones. Rody, I know Rody. Yes, I you spoke do. with him once. Yeah. Yes. He's the leader. You all know Rody. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone who's paying attention knows that name. Mm -hmm. Gavin knows Rody quite well. <laughs> oh, yeah, for best of times. So, could you give us uh, more of an idea of what? What these bombs will actually do? How how are they set off? Are they timed? But how can we they, disable are they, them? Are they timed? Uh, Which wire do I cut? <laughs> it's just a bomb, isn't it? I mean, how they wire them and set them and pack them—that's up to them. Mm. They did kind of buy a bunch of other kind of stuff. I think. I think. I think some time fuses, maybe. But uh, depend. You know. I would not recommend trying to defuse them yourselves, though. You'd need an expert. Could you point oh. us in a way, in the way of one? Oh, I could. That's going to be much... a little extra, isn't it? <laughs> How fast can this person work? Ah, uh, pretty quick. And are they available this evening? Uh, no. No, oh, it's no good to us then. We need them this evening. Oh, is it happening tonight? <laughs> Apparently so, yes. Just happening tonight. He, put, he he reaches into a drawer and pulls out some. Uh, he swaps his goggles out for a pair of like like weld of like uh, vi like welding visor. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love watching ship blow up. Town hall, yeah. I have, <laughs> have the Town best hall. view in the house. You'll no matter what, you'll see something. I, I guess. All right. I guess because you've been pretty easy to kind of swindle. you've been yeah for the most part you've been pretty uh -huh. easy to swindle so far. I'll give you one thing free. Uh, 
I don't know where they were taking their stuff, but the delivery address that they gave us was not the same as their main hideout. Oh. So what was the delivery address then? It was just a it was just a third party meetup. But uh we I had eyes on their little hideout. Weren't taking them there. So if they, they, if they were to relay this information to me, would it be the address on to? Uh no. Mm. Maybe half that's address, please? No, I don't know it. I don't know where they took it. No, I mean, so where, you de- where you delivered it to, we might be able to follow them from there, maybe. Well, sure. I mean, it really won't do you any good. Like I say, it was just a random okay. neutral meetup place. So, where was it? Maybe we can... It was, a high, it was a high street. I have an idea. Um, Appleboy, thank you so much for your time. Um, no more questions? No, I... I I have some questions, but that's... that's oh, by, by all means, Flynn. Well, on. no, you can... This is, this is, this is well, personal business. Well, you're not asking me. Ask me some it's personal business. Well, then, okay, everyone else get the fuck out. I like personal questions. How are you? I, I get the fuck out. <laughs> Good luck, Flynn. I'll wait at the door. I want some I'm bombs. Sorry. You want some what? Bombs. Right, well, the shop's out there, you fucking plonker. Well, you, you can... <laughs> We've just paid you five grand. I want some bombs. Oh, they shut up. Sort a deal out. They can fucking buy some bombs. Surely, surely we can come to some kind of agreement. Yeah, and you the could agreement is them. you go to the fucking shop, pick a bomb up, take it to the fucking till. Well, why don't you give me some juicy. suggestions? I thought I was in for something salacious. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you sell me some? I'm looking for something interesting. Um, this is my fucking shop. Go to the shop and buy something. <laughs> I fucking hate this guy. <sighs> this is my office. I don't know how many bombs in here that you know of. <sighs> I fucking hate this guy so much. Uh, how much is it for that uh, one of the fireballs? Uh, the one of the fireballs. <laughs> Ask me, ask me at break. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm, oh. I, if it's not ridiculously priced, I, I want it. It will be expensive. He's a fucking you. You're fucking useless, mate. Get up, <laughs> hop off my chair, and walk out. Uh, the doors <laughs> click. I'm what? Sorry. Uh oh. <laughs> I said you're fucking useless. I put on my helmet. <laughs> You're on no, the other side of the no, door. No, 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 we're no, outside, aren't we? <laughs> I hear a block. Yeah, I'll piggyback you out. We're, we're like in the foyer, you know. <laughs> or, or in the shop, I guess. I'm just by the door, I said. Why didn't you come a little closer and say it? I, I, I don't think I quite caught that. Glenn's he's been like, nice knowing you. He's, he's like got a hand up to his ear. I, I'm, I'm what? Sorry. I'm going to cast Minor <laughs> Illusion. And with little fireworks that I spray out of my hand in front of him, you're fucking useless. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Okay. So he likes the fireworks. So he's he's gonna turn off the psycho switch and just gonna do some random shit. He uh, flips a little switch in one of his dead hand things. Uh, a bunch of fireworks goes off behind the desk. And he presses another switch. A huge springboard trap fires you out of the room. Make a deck save for me, just for shits and giggles. Oh, no. That's it. 20. Okay, okay. Um... Well, seeing as you're like standing on it, it does still get you, um, but it doesn't quite. It, it, you're not going to take any damage from it. It literally just like springs you, kind of like cartoon esque, out of the room. You do a little bit of a tumble and slide to your feet. If if you got bad by that thing with your weight, it literally could have flung you out the front door, <laughs> off a railing. <laughs> I hate this goblin. You didn't have so, a good question then. I'm gonna cast it again. Cast what? <laughs> to, to minor illusion to, to the doors Bantam. are closed. The, oh, the, no, oh, right, right. the Bantam, the same exact thing. And what? You're fucking useless. 
and browse, continue to browse. All right. Um, I'm going to go and try and find um, a uh, an alleyway somewhere private where nobody can see me. Well, yeah, if everyone's still in the bomb shop, that's not hard. You I mean, I don't mind if the I, I, I was going to say I don't mind if the party follow. Oh, okay, I was like, I'm not really leaving you unless no. you say to. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to uh, pull out my gem encrusted mirror and I'm going to cast uh, scrying. Mm-hmm. I'm going to attempt to scry on uh, Rody. Okay, no problem. Uh, you see, uh... I know, I know, uh, familiar. Um, you know the target. If uh, da, 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 da. if I've heard of the target, he gets a plus five to his wisdom save DC twenty. Okay, so he's failed the save. So your mirror kind of shows you an image of him. Um. It looks like he's giving orders. Um, uh, nothing, it, it just kind of like um, general uh, kind of like time locations. Going to follow, it's like, okay, you and you, site A, uh, you and you, site B, wait for the signal. We should be all good to go. Uh, we should all start, uh, g- should be good to start the operation. On time, there's been no delays so far. There's just one small bit of business left for me to take care of. Um, does anybody have any questions? No, everyone knows what they're doing. Okay, good. Okay, if anything out of the ordinary pops up at all, you pass that up to your chain to, to your um, tracking officer immediately, and they'll pass it along to me. Okay, we anything we can't let anything go wrong. Uh, you notice, uh, Mila, it doesn't mm. seem like he's in a room you're familiar with. So not, one that, he... yeah, mm. not one that you uh, saw in the uh, building, the uh, cult building. Um, we, did, we didn't investigate the entire place, so it was a chance he could still be there. Uh, there's what looked to be a storeroom and probably a kitchen that you didn't go into. So, could be. Uh, I relay all that to Cherry. I mean, I don't know how it works with scrying. Do I see it only, or is it, or does it happen on the mirror? Or is the mirror just like kind of like a... I, I just see, kind of see it through the mirror. Uh, the, the the last thing you notice is standing kind of uh, in the room um, just behind him, or else it would be out of focus, is a large, slightly green-tinted crystal. Looks to be about person height, um, kind of just suspended from the floor. Okay. Which you definitely didn't say anything like that while you were sneaking. Interesting. You see all that, Cherry? I see it. I don't suppose it looks familiar to you in any way, does it? It does not. No. We need to find him. He's got one more bit of business left to conclude. If he's on his own... I think... I'm trying to think if there's any way we could get any kind of information out of him. Or to stop him from getting this done. Brings her knives out. (laughs) That could work. It could delay it. We need to find him, though. And we have no idea where he is. Um, Okay, um, I'm just going to say over the rings uh, to the party, we need to have a meeting as soon as possible. And I'll I, tell them which alleyway I'm in. <laughs> as Merlion comes out with a small crate of goodies. <laughs> which he didn't let anyone look inside of. Uh, no! <laughs> right. <laughs> um, would anybody else have bought stuff? I would say it could all be in as Merlion's crate. And we can work out the details and pricing at break. Um, yeah, again, if, if the Wanda Fireball isn't like five figures, maybe I'd buy it. Or maybe it is five figures, I don't know. It would probably be low five figures, at least. So a good one to fireballs. <clears throat> like the one Flynn has is is expensive. Really expensive. What do you mean the wand? I don't have a wand. The fireball. Oh you don't, sorry. No, I yeah. have a wand of magic missiles, which I That's know right, yeah, you just right. know fireball. Yeah. I'm... You know magic missiles really clutch because they don't miss. Yeah, it's not fun though. <laughs> I, Fire, I, fireball is fun. Fireball I um, is fun. I I think magic missile is actually way more useful 
out of combat to just hit things that you need to hit. Like, yeah. if you need to, like, cut a rope at a hanging or something, just yeah, buy it's a metal metal it's not it. for damage, really. Yeah, it's for accuracy. Yeah. Um, Bantam is gonna just basically look at how much everything costs and just try to comprehend, like, how much 150,000 gold worth of explosives really is. Oh, that explosives? Jesus Christ. It's enough to blow Town Hall up a hundred times over. Okay, so that's what I want to know. Blow up the if, city, then. if that much explosives were to go off in the city, it would be pretty bad. There'd be quite a lot of collateral damage. If we're talking like 10, 11k, I'll take that one. Right, we'll get back to that in the break. Okie dokie. Yeah. Uh, it might not. I, it might not even be fireball. I'll have, I'll have a look to see if there's any kind of cooler, kind of fire-related spells that I kind of like. Um... Fuck me, I've been muted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did, we, did we? Did we miss anything? Did Gavin want uh, to interject at any point? The only thing I had to add, and I, I was like, I thought you just were talking over me. But yeah, I think we should go update Polly if you've caught everyone up, because I know she doesn't want to tip them off. But I think yeah. the uh, thought of $150,000 worth of explosives might make her reconsider. Yeah. I, I agree. Oh. It's not just that. Imagine... It's not just Town Hall that's probably in danger here as well. That could probably bring the whole fucking town down. I just swore again. Oh my word. <laughs> Uh, Bantam, you have a direct line of communication with Polly. Similar right. to the, similar to the, oh, okay. all of the chief enforcers have these. Polly. That was Scottish. <laughs> Polly, you would be deck. Pick the fucking Polly. phone up. <laughs> Polly, are you there? Yeah, Bantam, what's up? So, we've just met with Appleboy. Uh, but that was fun. It was, you know how it goes. Um, and what's the news? There wasn't much info, but turns out they bought 150k worth of goods. Of, of explosives? Yeah. What kind of explosives? The ones triple, that go by them. Triple, triple fresh dragon powder laced with thunder glass. Fucking hell. Don't, don't call this stuff. <laughs> right. Jesus Christ. They could blow up every town hall in the fucking country with that much explosives. Yeah. So. Yeah, no. Not okay, sure, yeah. Sure or, best, or next. No, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm moving everyone down to the bunker. Um, we, think, we think it were like after midnight this is happening. Okay, wasn't it tomorrow? Because I think, wasn't I supposed to meet with Polly or something tonight, and then the next night was when this happened? The fuck, yeah. Think about your dick another time, Gavin, for goodness sake. <laughs> <laughs> we can, that does, that does, uh, does that track? Because I thought it yeah. was the next night. That yeah, I yeah, thought, you know I thought what? Gavin had a meeting with uh, the... No, 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 that does, ch that does check out, that okay. does check it out. It is technically tomorrow at 1am. Yeah, I didn't want to ask that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think it matters either way, really, but... I will say, to kind of keep things moving, because there's been enough downtime already, we'll just yeah. say tonight. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. So the, I, so... I think the only reason I was meeting with her was because I was worried about being seen with them. But if it's tonight, that's probably... But... Yeah. I mean, we were all, uh, you guys were always planning to meet with her after this as well. Mm -hmm. Well, before, we, actually, that was before we knew this was exactly Yeah, happening. this got a bit more serious. <laughs> yeah, it did. I'm um, really hoping I'm not part of a squad that's being sent to blow up. <laughs> um, uh, Chief Enforcer, would you mind um, informing the mayor that... <sighs> This uh, roadie person's got one last bit of business to go to. We need to try and find out where he is and try and find out any kind of information. Put a team on him, maybe, perhaps. Perhaps us, I don't know. But we need to oh, find out where he's going and who he's talking to. 
Yeah, there's, there's she's already mobilizing teams. Okay. Well, if you need us, you know where. Well, you know how to get in touch with us. What would you like us to do? Um, I guess just use your time wisely. Um, you have you have like about six hours left until the yes. until until Gavin's supposed to be meeting with Rhodey. Um, and we're assuming off that time scale that some whatever's happening is happening after that. Um, yeah, right. if you can think of any other leads to chase in the meantime, feel free to pursue them. Do tr please do not try uh, and interfere too much. Do not try and give the game no. away at this point. We, if they we have, have that, that much explosives in the city, we absolutely do, do not want them to get desperate or panicky. Um, yeah, we want to try and <clears throat> yeah, we just want to try and keep this as controlled as possible. Understood. I probably got to do something um, about that apple boy. <laughs> this is... Yeah, he's a cunt. <laughs> the you... fact that he Don't moved remember. that much explosives into the city without reporting it to me and without me finding out, I, I don't like that. Pa well, it wasn't him, it was somebody else. He would have yeah, been but... involved. The, no, he's the possible. only person who could have moved that much product into the city. Power that can overthrow a government is. By one man is a law. Yep. All right. Keep in touch. Yeah, we'll do. You too, Batman. Good luck, Mayor. And to you all. Say hi to you boys for me. The, the line's dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need a plan. Huh? By the way. We need to. We need to find him. We need to find out what kind of information he has. What last bit of business he has, and I don't know. In, 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 if try and intercept it or find out what it is without us getting discovered either. What if we I just fucking left Underport? I'm starting to think that might be a feasible idea. <laughs> but I'll tell you I, what, we'd appreciate as your help. Merlian, as Merlian, I was just about which... to say. I promised. I promised as Merlian that I'd be here to try and figure this out with him. Asmolian would 100%. This is like Asmolian's main character focus at this point. He says, if Bogodor's involved, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. And I'm with Asmolian until this is done as well. Fucking Black Fang. Black Fang. Hmm. We need to find out where he is. We need to try and think of someone who might be close to him, who might be willing to talk, but they're awfully, awfully close packed together. You know, tightness organization is what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry, I'm flopping my words a little. Um, Mila, could you not scry on Lord Blackfay? I mean, if there's going to be conflict... Uh, I guess. If there's going to be a conflict later, though, I might not be as useful as normal. Um, I'll pull out my mirror again. Uh, uh, and I will... I uh, think it's worth it. Have a look at your... Have a look at the spell and see what it says about things on different planes before yep. you want to cast it. I know, Didn't but I... Didn't you do I, this before? I've tried to do it before, yes, and it never worked. Yeah, but, but that no, could be no, for multiple Lord, Lord, Lord Blackfang. Okay. We, we did Bogdor, not his daddy. Lord Blackfang. Yeah. Well, I mean, this That's could be true. his dad. Or someone else. I, I, I Because I'm not very familiar with this person, there's a very high chance this will fail. And if it does fail, I don't know why it why it did fail, because I'm not familiar enough with the person, because they're on a different plane of existence, or because they have magical protection. It's hard to know. We can guess and speculate all we want, but we'll never find, we'll never know. Well, keep, uh, keep it for now. Right. It's, it's your call, Flynn. If you, if you want me to give it a go, I will. What info will they give you? Yeah, you'll probably fail. Oh, thank you. Not a problem, any time. As warm a party as I remember. We like each other rarely. She likes me. Oh, dream on. I do. Alright, okay. Uh, <laughs> Chief Kogan, right. any thoughts? Okay, Gavin, any thoughts? <laughs> Uh, I've got uh, one on the other side of my phone line. <laughs> <laughs> what? Thoughts. 
Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> so my brain was going there, but I didn't want to say it. Uh, I don't know. I've got a meeting with uh, possibly, probably Rodi. I don't know if I can't remember if he specified if he'd be there or not. But at that point, six, it might be too hours. late. What what time was it specifically? One a.m. Oh, uh, he wants I, you to meet at one a.m. Mm -hmm. I do have an idea. It's it's unlikely to work, but. Gavin, perhaps you could go back to the cult and say that you're starting to have second thoughts about the work and or you're having problems or something or struggles and you need to speak to him immediately and maybe then we can find out where he is. I doubt it will work, but it might be worth a chance. It's the only thing I can think of right now. And then what? And then we try and follow him and try and figure out where what he's up to. Keep an eye on him. Surely you want Gavin on the inside? So that Gavin can relay information to us. No, I'm not saying that he doesn't uh, he doesn't go to the job or anything like that. What I'm saying is he goes right now to the cult, and then once he gets to the to the compound, he says he's having doubts and struggles, and perhaps he wants to talk to uh, Rody. And then, if we're lucky, we might find out where he is. If he's in the building, we can try and break in and try and listen to him. Sure, it's possible. It's the only idea I have right now. Depends I how can busy break in Stop. anywhere. It's true, she's very good. In I fact, you, tec you technically don't even break in anywhere. You just walk into places, well, missed into places, I guess. <laughs> Depends how you define break in. Hmm. Alright then, well, let's give this a shot, if you're comfortable with that, Ga uh, look, comfortable with that Gavin. And if he's in the building, uh, myself and or Cherry, uh, we'll try and get in and try and listen in. Alright. Anyone got any other ideas? We'll probably at least find out if he's in that building or not if we do that, so... It's a good point, yes. Sure. More information that we didn't have before. Okay. We go to the compound. <laughs> well, no, we. Gavin. We go to the lockout place where... <laughs> <laughs> it's, a nice it's a nice spot. Yeah, it's quite quite a scenic view. Is that person okay over there? He looks like he's been smoking a lot of crack. Never mind. <laughs> oh, they're everywhere. Oh, <laughs> like a chalk outline of Dusty's body. On the <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got kind of leaning over the cliff, going, "Wow, that's one hell of a drop." I haven't <laughs> scraped all his bits off. The you see just a single arm hanging off a zipline. <laughs> oh, that's gonna mess someone up later. They're gonna fall. No, the arm, the arm came off as you hit the no, first. It was just uh, weak, just dislocated. Yeah, you broke your hand on a zipline, and then your wrist. I remember breaking. Yeah, I'll go it's all in the past. <laughs> it's not all in the past. Gavin goes. Yep. Right, so where are you going? To wherever the fucking meeting was. I'm just going to look for people there, I guess. Okay, so are you going alone? Yeah, probably. I don't see why anyone would come with me. Uh, I could come with you if you want. What, well, just I, invisibly? I, I, or... Yeah, I'd be invisible, yeah. Sure, if you want. All right. I'll use another spell. I mean, it's only a second level spell slot. Uh, I'll cast invisibility on myself and I'll follow behind, just behind him. Right, yeah. Um, locked up seems empty. Hmm. I'm gonna knock. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's no response. Um... Does active my well actual act look activating my otherworldly wings doesn't count as casting magic, right? No. Okay, so it's um specifically a spell. Okay, uh, I'll activate my wings and I'm just gonna go and like hover around windows and see what I see. Seems empty. Uh, I'll stay over the rings. Uh, it looks empty. That's not good. Where is the place I'm meeting him relative to where we are right now? Um. Funny enough, it's not actually that far from Town Hall. Pretty far away from here. Nani? I feel like this won't work then, because me randomly want... Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll go fucking head over to that area. If I'm looking for him, then 
I'll just assume that he is by where he said he was going to meet me. Wait, is when anybody, going? Is anybody going anywhere else or following or what's what the people saying? Probably stay close at least. I'll yeah, I'll stay relatively close, I guess, still invisible. Um yeah. and if I hear anything, then I'll yeah, again, we'll we'll see what we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what's there. Is it like a building? So this is a um almost um near the top of a pillar of a tower. I need to just settle on one word. The top of a spire um <laughs> that overlooks uh kind of like the bureaucratic district of town. It has a pretty good view of town hall from here. It is literally just like a pavement, though. Uh, pretty quiet, though. Even even kind of like you're getting to like 7pm now. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty pretty quiet up here. Um, the buildings here are all uh, like... Uh, I don't know. They're, they're just something that's closed at the minute. They're not houses. Um, so there'd be like, uh, know, like shops or something. N- there's no one around. No, not really. Like all the residential places tend to be lower down. Um, so after things after after like up top, places close. Everyone just kind of goes down. All the fun and the uh, uh, res- re- uh, residential areas are all kind of like mid section. So the top levels tend to be quite quiet at night. Well, anyone got any other ideas? What do, what do we know? I guess it's a waiting game, though. We know... Town Hall tonight. They kidnapped one of Polly's... Toy Boys. Lack- lackeys. Tom Boys. I said Toy Boys. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Never know with that one. There has to be something we're missing. Sold to Rudy. Okay. Um. All right. If if they were to blow up town hall tonight. How, 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 how would they do that? <laughs> how, so, so, how, how would they do that? How would they do that? Sorry. If they were going to blow up Town Hall, how would probably, they do Probably that? just put explosives in the building or nib. With that much explosives, probably they could blow up from the bottom. Yeah, possibly. No. Just nearby. <laughs> yeah. Um, the the Another one, group. the one thing that kind of contradicts that slightly is the note about keeping casu- civilian casualties to a minimum. Yeah, yes. the note to Lord Blackfang. <clears throat> Excuse me, Lord Blackfang. Yeah, kind of not quite sure how that goes hand in hand with uh, near nuclear quantities and explosives. <laughs> yeah. Well, what I've assumed is. They've taken out elsewhere. using all of these for this. That's impossible, right? Using all of what, sorry? They can't be using all of these explosives just for this. Yeah, yeah like, it's, it's seriously overkill. Yeah. If they, if they were to set all of those explosives off in Town Hall, it would da- it cause massive damage to surrounding spires. So there's probably there's multiple... targeting somewhere else as well. Or, yeah, multiple locations, most likely. Poly- Poly- thing. Thing. That would be enough to destroy every town hall in the country. Oh my god. We might just have to wait and see. What if, what if that's what they're intending to do? But why? I, I don't Whoa. know. These people are god, clearly crazy. Sh- Shadow card, though. Don't we know somebody in the Shadow Cartel? Apart from the grandfather, of course. Jerry raises a hand. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, no, I was thinking more of that um, that drow chap who who's in the um, the B team. Candlemaker. No, um, Jesse. 
Yeah, just Oh, that guy. Way back. Way back when. I wonder if he knows back something. In the day. I don't know if he will. Um What are you on about? He's not in the Shadow Cartel. Yeah, that's what yeah, that's what he claims but we fucking know he is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is a headache. Should we be warning other people in government to check their buildings for explosives? That just makes us sound like a, a threat to them. Yeah. If they've heard nothing, they would, hear, they would hear things. Um, themselves. We could at least inform Margaret and see if there's anything going on in Middleton that we don't know about yet. That's a different country, though, right? No. No, oh, it's just a different, different, just a different, uh, just a different uh, province. Uh, yeah, because yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. Go I'm it's, going to cast sending. I thought it was in Kubla. That's why. No, it's no Westfall. Borders Kubla, but not in Kubla. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. going to send a message to um, Madge in Middleton. Uh, Guildmaster, it's Meliana. Um, received information, town halls across the country might be targeted for bomb attacks. Uh, wow. Are you a bit here? I don't, well, I don't know, I'm just trying to be safe. Um, mm. Have you heard anything? Can you check buildings? Go response right for it. The response would be, uh, Hi Mila, nice to hear from you. I... We haven't heard anything, but I'll get some people to start uh, turning Town Hall upside down. Uh, can't help to be... Uh, can't help to be sure. Uh, if you hear anything else, let us know. This is the last spell I'm going to use before anything goes down tonight, because I'm pretty fucking low. I'm going to send again. Please try and be subtle about this. We don't want to tip them off that we're onto them. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay. Sure. <laughs> I'll see what we can do. It's pretty far from here. Well, if they've ordered that much and they have the supply chains and networks involved in this, they could have gotten oh. any. This could have gotten anywhere. We didn't. We didn't ask when. Ah, that's a good point. Actually, I was just thinking that. <laughs> would be very, very useful to know. Well, look, I can't afford to use up any more magic contacting people. That was kind of the last thing I could think to do. If this happened weeks ago, they've had the time to get this in place. Plus, if they have access to teleportation magic, they could have gotten this anywhere in a matter of seconds. It's true. It's very true. Well, I'm going to go take a short rest. Uh, can I... Um, actually, uh, maybe... I was thinking maybe you're like sending a subordinate to go back to Appleboy and ask. <laughs> when? Like now. No, but ask, ask what? Ask when the order was placed? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, how much gold do you give that, that subordinate? Oh, God. Whatever Polly thinks. Ah, <laughs> uh, God. Requisition 500 gold and tell them to be persuasive. Will do. <clears throat> so yeah, you send that, you send that all down the chain. Yeah, you have subordinates, feel free to use those. Yeah, that's what, that's what I think it is. You, you, actually have, you actually have a considerable amount of ground units at your disposal. Um, I would right. probably say four or five dozen. Um, so oh, like... Right. Probably like seven, eight squads. Okay. If you want to mobilize them at this point, just let me know. Yeah. Great, thanks. Fuck. What am I missing? Yeah, I feel like I'm missing something as well, but it's just, it's just not coming Let's... to me. You, you guys definitely did not pick up all the pieces of the puzzle that was scattered around, so it's really interesting, actually, with what you've got, where you could go. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. This is kind of cool. <laughs> so <laughs> if so what time is this... it right now? 
Oh, it's about six hours or like five. Uh, I, I said seven p.m. a while ago. Let's say we're heading to eight p.m. now. Five hours. Can I? I want to try to slip away without getting noticed. Right, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> if you try, you do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cherry just disappears I at some point. The only way you'll notice <laughs> is if you don't try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's okay. Okay. point. Oh, yeah. at some point, Cherry, I'll have to show you that. Sp but Cherry, where's she going? Cherry. Cherry. <laughs> Where are you going, Cherry? I'll DM you. Oh, okay, cool. Ooh. Yeah. Fine. There's other um, people in the party who have contacts as well, if anyone wants to call in favors or anything like that. I wonder if my noble background would give me any help in with the this. Party? I don't think there's many nobles here. I don't think that's something they're, they're, they're very interested in. I feel like the Guild wouldn't have much to do with this. Hey, get that you'll 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 get you'll get a laugh out of this. Feature, noble, position of privilege. Thanks to your noble birth, people are inclined to think the best of you. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> yeah, everyone loves nobles. Uh, I if we think it's a help, I can secure an audience with a local noble if we need to. Um Brick. Yes. After my interest in cake. With the other ladies of the guild, the thing did they did they give anything else to me? I would have told you. Yeah. It's like yeah yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine if I was like while I was talking like doing like a fluff scene with cake, I just didn't mention the intel that they gave you. <laughs> no no. What I was I too distracted did by did the they cake. not like tell me where they fucking live or something so we can have <laughs> cake parties no, and shit like no, that? No they didn't. <laughs> <sighs> Dude, you, you got, not you got recipes and you got cake and you got a very um eager when was the next meeting for cake uh next week fuck um you've sent at the start of the session that's bantam sent people to sweet premises for bomb threats yeah so i'll say polly <laughs> called back in polly called back in with that um polly. we've swept we've swept the entire town hall Three times over, using inside and out. You, yeah, inside and out, um, including all of the local uh, buildings. I mean, obviously, with that much explosives, if they really wanted to get us, they could probably put those bombs on a spire, like three spires away, and still do a lot of damage. Um, it just kind of depends how much they want to inflict. Um, I. I check those buildings. Watch. We can't. We can't cover that much of a radius. But that's that's assuming that they're going right. to use all of the explosives on us. Right. Gotcha. Um, yeah, well, anyway, we've checked inside and out for like three times over with all the equipment we have available to us. We found absolutely nothing. I've started to move staff down into the bunker. Great. Good job. Yeah. Um, obviously, once I'm down there, I won't be able to communicate with you. Um, so... When, when are you going down? I'm going to stay, I'm going to make sure everything's taken care of, and then we're going down there at midnight. The last bit of staff is going down there at midnight. All right. Probably the safest place in town, considering. Um, you know, Bantham, oh. that the town hall is equipped. It's, it, it's built into a uh, slightly unusual spire. The reason they built town hall there was because it actually was, uh, there's a portion of it that is hollow um, of the spire. And um, they actually managed to build not much mm. space, but a slight bit of space into the kind of almost indestructible stone of the spire itself. Oh. So there is probably the most secure. Does uh, she trust bomb everyone shelter. in Town Hall? Because a good way to limit civilian casualties would be to blow up the bunker if they want to do. Uh, she said they're using devices, so it's a case of like. Trusting people's one way or another, but if you can actually detect bombs with magic, mm -hmm. um, you know, they'll know if the bombs are in there. Okay, so the bunker is definitely secure? <sighs> you're not there, so you can't say for 100%. Yeah. But Polly is as competent an NPC as you're going to come across, and she seems to think so. All right. Polly, have you <clears throat> thought any more on why one of your subordinates was captured and tortured by these people? I'm not certain. 
he didn't really know anything that important. I'm assuming they were after just chip patterns and kind of just general stuff. That's really all he would have had access to. Unless he was involved in stuff that I wasn't aware of, but that doesn't happen very often. All right. I'm just a little worried for, yeah. Well, well, if they go in that bunker, they go in the bunker. Cheers, Molly. We'll speak to you before 12. Did one of you say earlier that they adjusted plans to reduce villain casualties? If this notes to be believed, then yes. So they do intend to kill some. Mm -hmm. I think it's more like that's they're expecting that it's kind of hmm. to. Possibly. Not that they want to. Why would they want to reduce civilian casualties anyway if they're trying to make a statement? Did they want us to, to know? They did leave those in... I mean, it, it seems a bit weird to leave those pieces of information in the desk of a <laughs> you know, in a pretty obvious place where you'd be looking for them if somebody were aware of this plan. I would have thought uh, they the, would have That was checked. in a secret compartment under the desk. Oh, so it was. I didn't say any of that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> How long ago were you at the cult? Today. Today. Hmm. Okay. So it's reasonable that they may not have checked that drawer since. Maybe. If they have, then that letter's missing. The blueprints are missing. And, I think and so. also, you and Cherry both etched things Yes. The I'm not, I am not saying that out loud. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have scried on them since, and they did not seem to be in a particularly panicked state. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Also, um... It's only been a few hours since the end of that meeting, and that place is completely cleared out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a good chance they haven't checked, you know. Yeah, I'm stumped. I, I can't oh. think of anything. Gavin, do you have any contacts that can help with this? Mm, I don't think so. Bounty Hunter Guild does uh, trade in information, but they're not quite. Yeah, this doesn't seem like something they would know about, and if they did know about it, they're probably being paid not to fucking talk about it. If they did something involved with it. I don't know. It doesn't seem very... Possible, but not likely. Shit. I was wondering if I should have someone keep an eye on that house. Uh, there's already people watching. Okay. I mean, there's uh, on, on that I mean, house. Gavin's house. The house, the place that Gavin's meant to go. I'm there. Isn't that where we're at? No, I mean, if, if I should have someone stay there. But. It's, 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 just, it's just a street, it's not a house. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, hello, Jerry. Where were you? Right. It's me. Okay. Him. Yeah, he just met him at the street then. On time. They wouldn't be there beforehand. And be where were you point. sneaking to? Places. Places you want to tell me about? Maybe. Maybe. Is it pertinent to what we're doing right now? Not really. All right then. Not really. No further questions. I'm gonna I'm gonna crank the clock forward a little bit here because yeah. things are stalling. Yeah, uh, no. I'll say feel free. Yeah, I can't think of anything. Everyone yeah, feel free like to either. take a short rest. I'll yeah. say that you could definitely have been having more of a planning meeting in hotel, uh, kind of you know like somewhere comfortable. Uh, so everyone can take a short rest. Um, I don't know if Mila gets any spells back off that. Nope. Can you not use sorcery points and then get the sorcery points back? Uh, I could use sorcery points to get spell slots back. That's absolutely true, but you never know when those sorcery points are going to come in handy. And I can do that as a bonus action, so... 
Do you? What I mean is, do you not get spell three points back upon a short rest? I no. don't believe you do. No, I think that's a long rest only. Right then. All right then. All right. Should have been a warlock. <laughs> <laughs> a warlock to her dad. Sorcerers are better. Sorcerers yeah. are better. They're we just better. Cast, <laughs> if you want to cast spells, don't be a warlock. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> if you want, if you want to cast spells, be a sorcerer. If you want someone to like puppet you for the rest of the warlock, and that's why I can't wait to be a warlock. It's gonna be fun. I Eldritch like Blast. Suffering. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. If you're a hexblade, I'm gonna take a swing arm with I, my sword. Uh, I think I'm gonna cast Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Yeah. Good choice. My players already picked up on that pretty early. One of my players was a warlock. And they very quickly jumped on the whole, why it is the only thing that you do cast Eldritch Blast? So why can't you do anything else? Why is the, the, the best you thing that you can do? <laughs> yeah, that's what the argument end is. It's like, that's coming from a fucking fight. All you do is go up and swing at things with your sword. I mean, yeah, but I look cool doing it. It was uh, quite quite an argument. It was fun. It's great as a dungeon master for me to just like fold my arms up, like yeah. yeah. Yes, see, see, the thing fight. is, is a, a warlock <laughs> casting eldritch blast is basically just a ranger, but mm -hmm. because it's a yeah. spell, it feels lame because everyone else has more spells. Yep. <laughs> um. Right. Um, okay. So I'm gonna say we're now at 10 p.m. Uh, your 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 subordinates come back, and he said that um, the shipment was com the order was completed within uh, the completion date for the order. Final handshake was five days ago. Five days ago. This can't have been a spare of the moment thing. They have to have been planning this for a while. It makes sense to do it short notice, so that. Less chance anybody get cats win catches wind of it. Absolutely. Uh, has Marge said anything back by any chance? No. Hey. The only person is, I can think of who might even able to. Oh, she'll figure that out. Yeah, I was going to say there's going to be at least one fucking spellcaster no, no, hanging around the adventures. No, I imagine. I imagine there's like break glass in case of emergency, sending spell scrolls in places that need them. Yeah. Oh, you know, go and speak to Dorothy. I'm sure she could probably do that. Um, I'm just there thinking is... why... Sorry, go on. I was just thinking, uh, going through the reasons why someone would blow up Town Hall. Revolution. Uh, with few Makes a pretty big possible. statement. It does. Yeah. Because they're an evil cult, and that's what they do? They were saying that in the meeting, well, this is what uh, you guys told me from what I can remember, um, they keep going on about how there's a great deceiver, that life is a lie, but we can still find meaning. Do you think they believe that? I believe some of them. Well, I wasn't there. <laughs> think recruitment. Bombs are a lie. And they did all this because it's for the Great Deceiver. And they're no, they're, they're fighting against the Great Deceiver. It. Oh, they're fighting against it. Oh, yeah. You were at the meeting, Flynn. I was paying that cake. <laughs> he was like, cake? <laughs> cake? <laughs> I had glad that we I just, got a I decent recipe out cake. <laughs> we have one. There is one final thing we can do. Yeah. We call in our favor with a candle maker. Do what? Candle maker. Uh, pretend you're not listening to this conversation, please, uh, Chief Enforcer. I will pretend. <laughs> the candle maker might know something about this, and he owes us a favor. We could just let this evening pan out and see what happens. You think he'd tell you? We, he owes us a favor, and he says that goes for a lot in his circles. Depends who's higher than him. Well, he's a... Again, you heard none of this. He's a grandfather of the Shadow Cartel. I don't know... Uh, I don't know what how much that is worth and how many people might be above him, but if he knows something, then Does it's better than going... Him... <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> I miss using my notes. <laughs> <laughs> 
God bless you for not better gaming. Um, I'm going to cast sending, and I'm going to send a message to Dusty. That would go. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. Uh, uh, it's that, or we go in completely blind. Uh, going where? We, 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 where we, we see. We see what happens with Gavin. We wait a fair distance away from him and let it let what happens happens. Just to be clear, we don't know when this will happen. We just know Gavin's meeting at one a.m. Sometime after one a.m. Yes. Right. Well. Ugh. This is killing you, isn't it, Jared? It is. <laughs> <laughs> what does, what, I'm curious. What does Dusty know that? That's no, Dusty. it's not that. It's just me. I'm stuck. I don't think we can solve this. But I want to. Yeah, I'm <laughs> We're literally real. just making assumptions. I think it. I honestly think it just should just move on to yeah. Gavin's meeting because there, there, there are some things you could do. They yeah. would be yeah. I mean, there's long shots you guys could take that might pan out, but who knows? No, nobody's really offering that, though. Exactly. No. Yeah. Gavin, Gavin just wants to wait till his meeting and go from there and just get more information. Like just to get this off my out my head, like we've got the uh, we've got the candle maker who might know something, and I could possibly get in touch with my father. He might know something. I really fucking doubt it, is but he... that is a long shot. Yeah. We don't know the scope of what they're doing. No. Well. We don't know. I'm pretty sure it's bigger than this city. I do want to say I want to, I want something definitive on the candle maker on the favor. Is that a yes or a no? Because that, sounds like a no. Uh, if is it a no? What's what's the party saying here? I don't know what other possible favors we could get out of them. Do the the question to the party is like this is David speaking always, to party now. There's an always something you can get out of a crime syndicate. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, maybe they might know something. They might have a hint that we can act on. Maybe they might be able to give us names, places, t t times, something let's, like that. Let's do a tally. Let's do a tally then. The option is do that or go Mila. in completely blind. Mila, are you in favor of calling in? For we pay? have like three I'm, hours. How much I'm do you in... think we can get done in that time? I don't know. He, he might just have some information he could give us right now that could help nah. us. So, uh, Miliana, I'm, I'm in favor it. of. You I'm, I'm in... could. Just ask me to go talk to him if you really wanted. Well, we have to vote on if we want to call in our favor. No, I'm in... Don't call in the favor. I'm in favor of calling favor it in. Use something else. In favor of the favor. No. Uh, who else? Gavin? As Molian. I don't care. <laughs> I, 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 everything I know about Asmolian is he's impulsive and he doesn't leave. And if there's something he has, he likes to use it immediately. Yeah. Uh, and if it's unless it's a potion. No, he, he likes to the, all the time. This is going to be yeah. a really poor use. Yeah, like oh, I, I agree with and... Flynn, but if you do think it's the best thing and you're that worried about it and immediately want potential information, it's not the best thing, Gavin. It's it. the only thing we have. We can wait. I think Cherry, you I kind think... of know how these favors work. I mean, she that's that's what I'm trying to get at, but like nobody's listening to no, Cherry. No, what, so what, it's what I mean like... is, what I'm trying to say is, if Candlemaker can't do anything about the situation, exactly, he's not going to count that as the favor. So, like, asking yeah. isn't going to consume the favor. Right, but like that's like she's like I could just go talk to him because she knows him because she's a part of the Shadow Cartel, but well, nobody think... seems to be getting that. Like, <laughs> no, well, uh, so I think we voted in favor of that, and so I no. could just turn it to you. No. Well, I, well, the party that we've got Theo, Asmolian, no. and me who said okay. yes, and then there's Gavin and Flynn who said no. I mean, I'm I said taking, yes. Uh, I'm taking a stand here. That's what I said. Keo said fucking, yes. Yeah, oh, I didn't. No. Fucking awful yeah, use of our favor. Care. Uh, Cherry, would you mind speaking to the candle maker? Cherry, if you do it, I'll be very, very <gasps> upset, and your snacks will be gone. I will buy her as you many snacks as I want. Snacks. snacks. You can't tell that to a child. If yeah, that's that's kind of rude. Cherry, man. if you go, the snacks will be gone. I'm just gonna say that. You can't get my snacks. You your fingers aren't that, that sticky. <laughs> I'm smarter than you. Do you know what? She's right. We'll you see. know. Oof. We'll see. 
we will see. And she, like, points one of her daggers at you. <laughs> Try it. I'm not telling her to stop. <laughs> this is great entertainment it and it's useful. It will come, Cherry. Will Don't get then, between Cherry and her snacks. And then I'll find you, Blair. <laughs> That is terrifying. Uh, Candlemaker, let's get in touch with Candlemaker. <laughs> Alright, I'll get in touch with Candlemaker. <laughs> You'd probably have to go to like a contact point, um, which you would definitely do alone. Yep. Um, I'll say that it takes about... Probably takes about half an hour, but Cherry comes back with the Candlemaker. How did you get here so quickly? A magic. magic. Yes. yes. A Sorry. magic. Candlemaker. Um, Are you calling in the favor already? We might need to. It's a fucking we... really bad decision. I don't want to. Well, it's a group favor. So what does the group say? It's a group in favor of the, the group, favor? The group agreed that, that we should get in touch. Yes. Oh, it sucks to be you, Flynn. <laughs> 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 fucking does. But Cherry's losing her snacks. So. Cherry's not paying me attention to you. <laughs> I, so Candlemaker kind of puts a hand up, uh, kind of like covering his mouth and just whispers to you and just says, I wouldn't advise that. Um, right, so what's the favor? What can I do? We know that there's going to be a plot to blow up the government headquarters in this town tonight at 1 a.m. Are you sure We're... about all that? That's news to me. It's Well, it's the best that we have. We need any kind Who's... of information that we have. Who's 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 going to be playing at Town Hall? The Open Eye. Oh, ooh, that's interesting. You know of them? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm I know of them. Well, I'm I'm going to let him know what we know. That like you know we found blueprints. We know that he's that they've purchased 150,000 k. You know. Oh, so you k so, worth of bombs. so you didn't find the oh okay well in that case I can offer you a favor that I think might be. I think it might be quite uh, acceptable. <laughs> I love Cherry. Uh, yes, yeah, so any help that we can get, roll please. A roll, a, roll a sleight of hand for me, Cherry, please. Okay. You get it in there. I mean, she doesn't, she doesn't care if he knows that she does it. Yeah. Like, she just put a piece of candy in his pocket. Okay. <laughs> Um, I feel like he's used to that, but... <laughs> yeah, I feel like he'd just be used to it. <laughs> yes, uh, probably. Like, he goes uh, into his pocket, he's got a light around lace, he's like, oh my god, fucking cheese again, Cherry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he kind of gestures with his hands and says, I think this definitely could constitute as a favour. Um, I imagine you'd probably be quite satisfied based on what you know and what you don't know. Well, we agreed to use the favour, so... If you know something, up. um, right. So, yeah. are we officially calling in the favor? Can I get a can I get a, a, a finger guns from from the party? Finger guns. Finger, finger guns. guns. I, finger guns. I refuse to finger gun. I have majority I'm finger very guns. Upset. I'm very upset about Gavin this. Gavin will finger guns. I have. Now... You're not not finger gunning in a business deal is kind of rude, man. I have majority I'm finger being guns. Rude. This He's is very bad. Flynn. <laughs> um. They know the price. Well, in that case, shall I lead you to uh, <clears throat> shall I lead you to their secret headquarters? Do you know where their headquarters are? I certainly do. Well then, I believe that, that is quite the favour. Yeah, I'm really chuffed that I knew something that Polly didn't. Oh. <laughs> How did you know that? Um, they've been in town for a while. Uh, we helped them set it up. <laughs> Is that as far as your affiliation goes? Yeah, that, that's it. But um, And usually that's not information we would sell. You couldn't have bought that from me. Uh, yeah, make an insight check. <laughs> Ooh. 23. Seems like he's down the truth. Sure. Um, I'd say for most people, you'd be pretty happy with that read, but you don't know. Shadow Cartel well, people... I'm not yeah, you're never, you could have rolled a natural 20 and you wouldn't necessarily be com confident when it comes to Shadow Cartel. Uh, they are literally the best at what they do. Um, but yeah, that's a very sensible reason and makes total sense. If you wanted to set up a safe house that the mayor of Underport didn't know about, Shadow Cartel, it would cost a lot of money. 
So the Shadow Cartel will be the people who would help help you do that. Um, and yeah, as Kanda Mike was saying, you literally couldn't have bought that information from me. Only a favor could have got that from me. Because uh, that's that is a completely worthwhile exchange, don't you, Flynn? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> he just he because he got Elmo. <laughs> Well, I'm taking the trades. No, you're, you're not. Ugh, Absolutely, you're not. <laughs> I might take something from you, though. You cannot take anything from me. I can't believe you're actually challenging a fucking rogue with a level, expertise. A level 14, 14 rogue. Easy. <laughs> you're a easy. Easy. Fucking it, mate. Easy. Your jack of all trades is not going to help you win this fucking My fight, let me tell you. Trades. I can magic. Cool. So can I? <laughs> no, you can't do the kind of magic I can do. They don't need to. That's how fucking good they are. Dance. Oh. <laughs> no, that's not the plan. That's not the plan. Bam, bam, bam. I get the feeling those bombs are gonna dance anyway. The bombs are gonna dance. You can dance. As as we're making our way to where this is, um, I want to ask yeah, the panelists if I can speak uh, to him I in might... private. Not go because I have the meeting in a few hours. Yeah, well, that yeah, the the meeting is in uh, le yeah, let's say two hours. Mm -hmm. Um, so does someone need to go with him? Like sneaky. Also, if you're going to their headquarters and they see you, I also shouldn't be seen with. Yeah, makes sense. Hmm. I mean, if if you're confident going on your own, Gavin's no, not the no, only known face to them. That's true. All all of us squad nearby for you. Thanks. That will feel good, Jared. I wish I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> what what's the best I do? I will have Chauncey bring you a bottle of wine. <laughs> I think I like that one more. <laughs> <laughs> Even then, I'll probably get some lip back of choice. Like, do your fucking self. I'm five hundred years old. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm not going to go with you guys. I'll stick to what I was going to do. Anything no. goes wrong, give us a message, we'll come running. Yep. I don't know. If I mean, you, you could technically teleport there, eh? Because you know if there, something came up. Yeah. As Molium could. Oh, when, when he, could yeah. Yeah. he didn't have yeah. that spell slot. Well, that's, <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. Um, right, so... Uh, as we make my way there, I want to pull Candlemaker aside. Um, you said before, um, about some information that could be purchased. I want to sound you out about something. I'm not going to put a deposit down or anything like that, but there is, um, a person I'm very curious to know what kind of dealings, if any at all, they might have with the Shadow Cartel. If I were to give you a name... I'm would sorry... You be I don't want to get your hopes up in this regard. The Shadow Cartel does not sell that kind of information. Even if I was to give you a name and pay a hefty price, would you be able to tell me if they're involved if, in if you, they've done you or not? If they've done official business with the cartel, then that is signed and sealed information. The only way to access that would be through another favor. That's, that's fair enough. I can respect that. Thank you for your time. No problem. Thank you for understanding it. Some people get a little pissy about that kind of stuff. I don't know. I, I understand people need to have their secrets and confidentiality. Plus, it's the business that you work in. It's completely understandable. Uh, right, so here we are. It's just over there on that spire. Do you see it? That was uh, quick. Yeah, it was quick to get around. Uh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, there's like 200 and something spires in this. Place. All right, they're just called spires. Sorry, it's because spires are normally like at the top. Yeah, I'm trying to call them spires, I think, now. It makes more sense than tower, I think. Kind of, yeah. Um, Tower suggests, like, man-made. Uh, so, yeah, you see that kind of... It's kind of easy to miss. It's two floors down from us here. Uh, it's, it looks like it's all boarded up and, and run down, like an abandoned warehouse. Excellent. Um... So, two different property developers... Um, currently have rights to renovate this place and are in an embattled legal dispute, all of which has been entirely manufactured. Uh, it's the perfect kind of bureaucracy to throw Town Hall off a location. That is quite genius. 
That's what we did. But Would Matthew touch. not be just relaying this directly to Polly? Does he kind of have that duty? Like... <laughs> I mean, if she pays for it. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, yeah, that, that's a good point. Bantham has a professional relationship with Polly. It's not so much a un unbound loyalty. Okay. Yeah, it's not that I'm okay. like a subordinate. I would also I would also say that all of that would have been out of a shot of the enforcer. No, no, okay. I okay. imagine like the enforcers and like the like the government bureaucracy bureaucracy are kind of like two different branches of government. The, I, the, I guess the enforcers are almost an independent. Uh, mm -hmm. they're, they're a sanctioned mercenary band, basically. Ah, the PMCs. Yeah, they they are actually basically a PMC. The the uh, town employees on on retainer. Excellent. Uh, at this point, DM, can we take a quick five minute break for peas and booze? Yeah, I'm gonna go to the tea. We may. Peas and bees. Yep. Peas and bees. Peas and busted I would I would highly advise against doing that both in and out of character. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't think in Meliana and can bust out it up. Of character. <laughs> yeah. Meliana doesn't have that kind of equipment. I mean, Fog is edgy or Manor Illusion, maybe? I don't know. I'm gone. Yeah, I saw mine. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to make Pop Tarts and let you ponder what I just said. In and out of character. What the fuck does out of character mean, though? That means hat say I know that! <laughs> Fucking hell. Mobile games. How do I steal these things? These uh, treats. That's the most important thing. So I just had a thought. Hatsu, are you here? No, she's gone. Fuck. Is anyone here? I'm here. Hello, Brooke. Brooke. How Goblin. are you? I'm Apple Boy. Meh. Like on a scale from one to ten, how much information did we completely fucking forget there? I don't think you forgot really any of the information you had. Just not making the connections. Uh, <laughs> no, I think it's actually more that you kind of missed some really key stuff. Make notes of the stuff that we did, please, because like after all this is done, I'd love to know what we've missed out. Um, Just have a rewind of your fucking. Stream. There was. I'm there pretty was, dense. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not stuff that I'm to that was told. I'm saying I mean more like missed opportunities on the information gathering missions. Ah. Hey, I found that about cake. Yes, Flynn played the most vital role in our infiltration mission. I infiltrated quite well. They are not suspecting a thing. Uh, David, you're not legitimately pissed off when you stuff favor, right? I mean, like, in character, probably. 
Uh, or... I mean, I mean, I'm no, I'm not legitimately pissed off. Good, but good, I do good. think it could have been used a lot better. What did you have in mind? When you have a favor with like a shadow cartel, it's got to be something that goes into your favor, and and they have to pay for it. This isn't our favor. We're we're saving lives. But they're, they're not paying for anything. What do you mean? Who's not paying for anything? Sorry. We've we've. They need to owe us a big debt. Them showing us fucking headquarters. That we would not, never have went anywhere not, near or found if we didn't it's get. It's true. It's true. It was very useful information they gave us, but I think it hasn't hurt them. Why would we want to hurt the shot? They are the but, last people no, I want to fucking hurt. What I mean is, we don't want to literally hurt them. We want them to. We we need to like use that as leverage. I don't think we could ever leverage anything against the Shadow Cartel. They're pretty fucking powerful That's what people. favors for. No, that's what blackmail's for. <laughs> uh, Brooke, um, just uh, I, I had a thought there. Um, how old is Cherry, by the way, or how old does she look? Uh, I actually don't know. I'd have to open Cherry's sheet. Um, uh, I mean, she keeps saying she's she a told... kid. I don't know if she's joking. I'm like, uh, like, what if she's like, I don't know, like twelve? No, or like she's that? not. She told us. Also, she's I, like sure she middle of twenties, tw late twenties. Yeah, like, oh, okay. Like that's that. Early mid twenties, I think, is what Hatsu said. <laughs> Roll a natural twenty when nothing's happening. Well done, David. I can't believe I wasted my one that twenty that I'm probably gonna get tonight on a fucking history check <laughs> just to find out this goblin's a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that's one of my my, my new favorite NPCs. I love him, bro. He's brilliant. Who? <laughs> Apple boy. Apple boy. Yeah. Oh boy. I actually really hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely really hate him. I was hoping for Victor. Victor. Victor, the bomb boy. Wah, 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 wah. Hmm. Hmm. Wah, 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 wah. Mm -hmm. right, I'm, back. I'm, going, I'm going back into the classic meme folder. Oof, some good ones here. I'm back with snacks. How old is Sherry? 27. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Cherry is the same age as me. As in Flynn. Cherry is the same oh, age really? as me, as in Bro. You Whoa. mean Brick? Do you not? Yeah. Do you think about what I said, David? I mean, um, what can you do to me? What, 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 <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking to me for a second. <laughs> no, you're now Damien. Damien. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I just went on Facebook for the first time in a while, and the WFG experience has flagged new views. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the what? The WFG? What the fuck is the that? The WFG experience. How YouTube channel that we used to all have. have. <sighs> Congrats. That is long before any of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, man, we were popping with those Pokemon Showdown videos. We were getting, like, <laughs> 150, uh, 200 views to go on then. I don't know how. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. There's some fucking bangers in this folder. Uh... The emotional support garlic bread. I love that's so great, isn't it? <laughs> Sent me fucking loopy. Alright, are we all back? Yes. Hello. 
Roll call, mm. Brock. Yeah, I'm here. Everyone's David, here. I'm here. David. Everyone's here. Everyone's here. Yeah. Everyone's here. Because I heard Monk and then uh, yeah, I heard Jared. Monk and Jared. They're both here. Oh. Monk. Yeah. Cassie. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Damien. You're very welcome, Brooke. I'm here whenever you need me. And if and I if will I keep need this you... in check. What, what about if we don't need you? Yeah, and if I need I'm you. I'm still stop... going to be here. Okay. Great. Right, so um <laughs> you see that are people coming and going from this abandoned warehouse. Uh, is Wait, the camel maker just like fucked off at this point? <laughs> Yeah, Gavin, I, I'm, I'm assuming you're going. Yeah, I'll go there when it's time. Uh, yeah, people coming and going. Um, seems like they have a purpose. Oh, what's what's the play here then? Well, that I don't know. That's up to you guys. Can't Cheerio. Look at I was, just, I was just saying that to the group. I, 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 I thought you already fucked off. I thought you already fucked off. Yeah, he snapped his fingers and disappears. <laughs> I put candy in his pocket. He didn't <laughs> notice. <laughs> you do that often. Good job. Oh, yeah. All <laughs> That's adorable. If you're nice. If you're not so nice, nice, you get other things in your pockets. I just look at Flynn and have the biggest shit-eating grin you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> just gonna say, you're gonna regret it. I think that was a bad call. Do you like I spiders you, in think... your pockets? How can you still say that was a bad call? I'm gonna check for spiders in my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I cast the tech spiders. At least I didn't put these spiders in your pockets. Yeah, nothing yet. Nothing in there yet. <laughs> Yeah, what's the play, guys? What's the what's the plan? Well, Cherry, you're the best at sneaking. You mm -hmm. could possibly, if you're up for it, you could possibly go in there and mm -hmm. see what you see. Um, I I'm I still have a lot of my magic at, at to hand, but I really can't afford. If, if something does go down and I'm needed, I really want to keep hold of what magic I have left for today. So. I'm probably not the best to go in there because I'd have to rely on invisibility. Cherry goes invisible. Sure. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. And then walks down there. <laughs> what, what I want to find out is if they're planning to place these explosives right before blowing them up or earlier. Oh, yeah, I figured. <laughs> is uh, is Cherry going in solo? I mean, I'm not waiting, so. Mm, hang right. on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Doesn't Asmo have invisibility? Asmo could, Asmo could put a greater invisibility on someone if, if we want to give Cherry back up, but. Yeah, put it on me. Nah, greater invisibility is on me. I am. Oh, it is. Out. That's right. Uh, just give me normal invisibility then. I can go invisible, guys. Well, go on then. I'm going. Sure. To get some snacks. I'm coming to get you. Oh, snacks. Right. I'm invisible, you dummy. <laughs> this isn't the ethereal plane. I I'm, not, I'm going. Say, I'm going, going with. Make a, both of you make stealth checks with advantage for me. Not sure I like that he's coming. <laughs> hmm. Wait, why'd you have a third roll? What? The reliable, reliable talent. talent. I can't fail this roll. <laughs> uh, great. So, um, yeah, both of you get in through the front door. I'm, I'm stealthier than her, just so you know. Uh, was that a 19? <laughs> yeah. Next, in this situation, yes, this is one of two roles. In, yeah, this is one of a very slim set of circumstances in which that can happen. So, congratulations. Yeah, you're on the inside. <laughs> Big kind of warehouse layout here. There's armed people everywhere, people moving back and forth with guns in hands. Um, there's probably about 
two dozen people in this building, all of them armed. Um, there's, uh, you see, he would have gone, they would have gone. Less than two dozen. It's about a dozen people left in the building at this point. Um, and Lena is giving instructions. Um, was that her name? I like Lena. Yeah. Lena. Uh, she has a, um, you know, like those repeater rifles that have like the crank at the bottom? Like the, le the lever action rifles? Yeah. Yes, I know what you mean. Yeah. Like an air rifle. <laughs> Model 1887 Akimbo, gun. Call of Duty. Uh, I'm thinking more of like a Winchester. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking Model Baby 1887 Akimbo. <laughs> Call of Duty, Model Warfare 2. Okay, stop. Most broken gun ever. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, she's like, got one of those. Like the gun like Ash has. Yes, that yeah, is actually yeah. the gun like Ash has. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. gun. Um, yeah, and she's got it over her shoulder and she's kind of pointing, giving instructions to people, sending uh, people out. And as people are given the instructions, they're leaving the building. Um, make investigation checks or perception checks, whichever ones you want. Okay. And I will, uh, I'll use the charges of Psychic Veil. So, like, I've got 10 minutes on this one, 30 minutes for the rest. So, like, I, I'm not going to just, like, I'll rechar. I'll recast Psychic Veil. I'm not gonna go yeah, yeah, visible yeah. and then unvisible. Yeah. No, so I know just wanna. Yeah, yeah. So investigation. These are good rolls. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Uh, That's okay. perception. Yeah. Yeah. I said perception or investigation. Or oh, okay. Yeah. Um. So you both you you do take in more or less the same stuff. Um. That is uh, a board behind. Lena, which is kind of covered in instructions, you would have to get closer to kind of see what's on there. Uh, there is a big fucking crystal in the back of this room. Um, there are workbenches scattered around the outside of the room. Um, uh, yeah. What else? Yeah, that's 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 about it, actually. I'm gonna go check the crystal out. Okay. Um, How many people are in the room? I would say, including Lena, probably about 14, 15. Okay. It does seem to be dwindling as people are given instructions and getting sent. Um, it's mostly like the instructions are mostly kind of like very specific things that don't help a lot. Like kind of like, okay, you're kind of going, you're, you'll be going to this point here, rendezvousing with this team. You'll be... I'm taking uh, it we can't hear her. Though. Here and here. Oh yeah, you can hear her. You're in the room with her. Okay. Uh, you'll be keeping Overwatch on this location. If you see anything, report. Um, once uh, the explosion happens, here's where you go. Ooh. Things like that. Um, kind of very kind of small level micromanagement instructions, so <laughs> not much big picture stuff happening. Mm -hmm. Cherry, the crystal is uh, has a slightly green tint to it, almost like old timey glass, um, like bottle glass. It's uh, pretty smoothly cut. It looks like one of those like purple Crash Bandicoot crystals in, in shape. It's quite tall. Uh, it's about seven foot, eight foot tall, and it's anchored into the floor with like a big clamp. Uh, there is a uh, post-it note attached to the crystal um, that says, um, "Next contact with Lord Blackfang, uh, oh, 0300 hours." Three hundred okay. Which would be three AM. Yeah. And that's on the crystal. Yeah, it's literally just slapped on it. It's like <laughs> slapped on the front of it. They yeah. Just it um can I just... so so just um having some kind of uh I guess psionic ability does this ha can I like does this resonate with me in any degree no, or okay. no 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 psionic stuff coming off this cool cool then I don't care <laughs> does does Cherry have a ring uh, an earring Cherry's yes. not saying anything to you <laughs> Cherry if she's does saying have a anything ring. if she's saying anything it's to Mila but she's not saying anything right now <laughs> uh, Flint, what do you want I'll... to investigate um. Uh, on the on the outskirts of the room, there are the workbenches. Oh yeah. 
I want to see if I can go and have a look at those. Okay, yeah, go uh, make a investigation check. I Maybe. want to cast Polymorph. What the fuck? And do what? I'm becoming a little fly. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. God, I thought you were gonna like turn into a fucking ape or something. Like, uh, <laughs> now, now Brick, Brick, I am a smart. <laughs> it may not look that way, but I'm a smart man. So to keep to to remind you, polymorph is not wild shape. When you're polymorph, your mental stats become that of the creature. Uh, no, your mental stats stay the same. No, no. you no, get no, the no, mental stats of a fly. No, they you, yeah. they stay the same. No, I th th this is a common misconception between polymorph and wild shape. You retain personality. Yeah, so, including so, yeah. mental ability scores are replaced yeah. by the statistics of the chosen. So piece. druids do not have this when they wild shape, but polymorph does. It's why when you turn things into, it's mainly meant to be used on enemies more than anything else. Do you still want to turn into a fly, or would you rather remain invisible? What's... I'll remain invisible. Then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I always thought it was. Yeah, it's like, it, and I've been, I've had this mixed up before, but I, I finally got to the bottom of it, and I was yes, like, okay. I will stay invisible, and I will go up to... Just have the oh, flashback of the bats in critical role. I and will... Fred. <laughs> I will go up to, yeah, the, the workbench surround. Yeah, so make, make an investigation check to kind of see what's the deal with these workbenches. Investigation. Damn, I'm wrong. Oh, damn. damn. I'm these are good. there's several of these benches, all very similar. Mm -hmm. um, they seem, for the most part, to be uh, devoted to two tasks. One is making bombs. The other is making bullets. And do they give instructions? No. What do they say? They don't say anything. There's no instructions. There's don't tools. kill Asmo. He will literally join the cult. It's there's just a workbench. Do they? Do they? Do they on these workbenches, on these instructions, does it say there's no do instructions? This, do, this, do this. No, there's no instructions. It just it's says make tools. bullets. It doesn't, it doesn't say, say anything. <laughs> yeah, but you said there was instructions to no, make bullets. No, I didn't and make say there were, no. I didn't. I said their purpose was to make bullets. And oh, okay, okay. How did you? Keep uh, you? Never mind. <laughs> While I still have some of my invisibility <laughs> left, I kind of want to like sneak closer to Lena. Oh yeah, and have a look at that board. Make a stealth check with advantage. Wee 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 wee. Wee 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 wee. Wee wee wee. Okay. <laughs> you're literally standing right behind us, reading the board. Like she's giving the instructions on this podium, and you're next to her. Um, yeah. Lots of uh, deployment notes. Um, mark like map markings of the whole city with squad notations on it. The most important thing here are three bomb sites. Oh my god. Okay, and those are where? Uh, two of which are at the very, very base of the um, spire. Um, the government one? Yes, the town hall building spire. One of which is kind of halfway up. Well below town hall. And when I say base, I mean down in the down in the bad place. Oh, the place where I run away from things that try to eat me. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm relaying this information to Mila as I'm reading it. I'm immediately yeah. going to tell Bantam. Okay, so you said three bomb sites. One yeah. at the very base, one halfway up. Two at the base. Two at base, one halfway up. One halfway up. Uh, you see that Lena is designated to go to site A. There's site A, site, uh, Big Rog is at site B, John Perry is at site C. And site A is which one of the three? Uh, it is the one, it, it, it is one of the two at the base of the spire. Uh, sorry, who did you say was at B and C, sorry? Big Rog and John Perry, two of the, the, the two folks that are at the meeting. Yep. They, they seem to be the people uh, heading up those sites, like leading the site. Or I'm trying um, to decide if I want to do something stupid now. <laughs> while you think about that, I'm immediately going to... Keep in mind, keep in mind like, like, Cherry's uh, intelligence Well, it's, it's not stupid, it's risky. Like, it's more arrogant than it is. <laughs> <laughs> got it, got it, got it. 
Okay, what I think it's, it's totally a flex. Makes sense. Like, I, I basically, I want to. I'm trying to decide if I want to try to pick her pockets. <laughs> Just, is she wearing trousers? She is. Pull the pants down. Why would I do that? Why? Why the fuck I'm not, not talking to you. I'm making this decision on my own. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> do you want a while to think about it while well, someone else does something? Well, if you're if you're talking, yeah, say what you were gonna okay. say. I'll think about it real quick. I just I want to. Pass the information on to Polly, like... Yeah, um, you guys get into a conversation about what the fuck they're doing down there. Would not recommend staying in that spire. For anyone. Well, no, they can't blow the spire up. Is well, that where the bunker is? There and there. Well, so... Uh, Banfam is having a direct line to... So there's no intrusions. On this oh, page. sorry, my, my apologies. Uh, Banfam, what was your thing? Well, they're doing something down there. Well, yeah. Especially if they have two are... bomb sites at the bottom. But what are they doing? Or do they not? They they must know that the spires are magically protected. I mean, I don't know too much about this, but surely magical protection has its limits. I mean, we've never been able to find them in you know. One hundred fifty thousand gold. I mean. Maybe that might be enough, but is that they're at the widest point of the spire? I mean, if it was made out of normal rock, then yeah, that would be that would de definitely be enough. But this isn't normal rock. I don't even know if that much explosive would make a dent at the top of the spire. Yeah, that, like this conversation kind of keeps going. It's a little circular. Yeah. Um, either either way, I can't. Imagine staying in that spire to be a good thing. I mean... That's what they're targeting. 100%. It, it must be. I don't... I don't I, yeah, I Surely don't know. it's better to get everyone out. I'll talk, I'll talk to the staff about this. Okay. I'll talk, I'll talk to my advisors and see what we all think. Your choice. Naturally. Okay. Uh, I'll get back to you when I've, we've made a decision. Yeah. I'll keep you up to date. <laughs> It's 11 p.m. now, by the way. <laughs> oh, was it already 11 p.m.? I think it was 10. 10 when we called the candle maker. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's probably about half past 11 then. <clears throat> Does anyone else get legitimately nervous like I was a character? Because I am. Um, <laughs> I want to try to, yes. I wanna try to pick her pocket. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> make a sleight of hand check. <laughs> With advantage because of style, uh, invisibility. Well, that's good. Oh, oh my god! god. Reliable Jesus. talent applies. Oh, it Reli again. <laughs> Reliable talent applies. That is a twenty. However, that is in detectable range. Let me do a contested roll. <laughs> Natural two. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Cassie, this happened in Strahd last night. Somebody rolled. Um, Double natural ones on a check, and then they used inspiration to roll again. They got two natural twos. I was having flashbacks to that then. <laughs> <laughs> um, reliable talent is good. Uh, yes, very good. Very good. <laughs> very, good. <laughs> very, very good. Uh, yeah, no, you pull out uh, kind of like a handful of bullets, like loose, loose bullets. Okay, and then I'm leaving. Okay. That's, that's um, enough adrenaline rush. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Mm, snacks. <laughs> no, I, I know that metal is not edible. No, I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, how do you know metal is not edible? That's Flynn, the I, I want to hear. Flynn, Definitely what, tried Flynn doing? before. To be fair, I Flynn don't know that metal's not What's Flynn edible. doing? Is there anything else in this room that needs to be checked? You kind of see, it's like a big empty warehouse. It looks like there's been a lot of activity in here today and a lot of shit's been moved out of it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, let me think. Let's see. Uh, Time to get a nice strong drink. Moved out. Uh, <laughs> what was that, sorry? Oh, no, I'm thinking. Um, what else is there to find out in here? Um, if you'd been here a lot earlier, there might have been more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as, as Flynn Rolling. is kind of thinking, uh, Lena takes the last six members and leaves. 
Oh, fuck. And um, uh, unless, gonna... you're, unless you're following directly behind them, as they close the door, you hear a click as it locks shut behind it. <laughs> That's not going to stop him for long. <laughs> That's not for long, but yeah, he's locked in here now. Cherry's gone. So I'm locked in there. I just want to fucking search the entire fucking building. You're in a warehouse and you've been through all four corners. Okay. No like sign I say, of Brody. If you'd been here several hours earlier, there might have been more things to find. But at this point, it's okay. clean, cleaned out. This operation is basically started. Um. So where were the three on the on the map? Where were the three points? There was one at the base of the spire. Two at the base of the spire. One about Two. halfway up. That's been communicated. Yes. Would I have any idea how deep the bunker is in the tower? Uh, it's it's near the center of the spire. Oh, the bunker! The bunker is yeah. beneath town hall and in the center of the spire. Um, I okay. I want to follow Rodney. You mean Rodney? Brody. Brody? Yeah, Brody, who's not Brody. in the room. Do you actually fucking pay attention to a word I say? No, he didn't no. pay attention to anything. Yeah, you know what? Actually, no, as a penalty, but... this is reverse Oi! Oi! I'm moving away from you. This, you're, this is no longer your scene. Oi! I, no, you weren't paying uh... attention. I like, know the door's just room. fucking locked. In an empty room. That character was never in the room with you. But to be fair, I thought there might have been an office somewhere. The, no, it's literally just a warehouse. As I have said, oh, on yeah, multiple you know occasions, what fucking name is. you rolled a fucking 21 investigation. I've told you everything you found. All right. Yeah. How are you leaving so we can fucking move on? I'll just fucking find a window. Uh, there's no windows. It's Everything's boarded up. I'll fucking break down one of the boards then. You're tiny. How are you going to do that? Flo's so stuck in here. Because he's like trying to leave, like it's gonna take him like 15 minutes to get out of this right? He could just ask Cherry to come unlock the door. <laughs> well, that's the thing. If Flynn, if Flynn's not communicated any of this, you guys don't know because he's invisible. You probably just left. Oh, I did. I'm going, I back, to, I'm, 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 I'm going back to the grid. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll come back to you. <laughs> Pay more attention. God damn it. Uh, yes. Yeah, so uh, Cherry relays all the information. The you guys update Gavin as well. Yeah, I would have updated Gavin. Okay, so there is a bomb. Okay, and it is going up. There are several bombs, Gavin. <laughs> well, looks like I'm going to have a great view. So, uh, Bantam, uh, what does this mean? At the base of the tower? The middle of the tower? What, what, um, what kind of damage can they do with, by targeting that? We have no idea. All these, all these spires are magically... Reinforced. How strong they've are never, they? They've never been damaged before. Wow. I will okay. say also, anyone with it can make a history check to know this as well, and anyone familiar with the town probably does know it. This is not something that the, residents, the people who moved into the town did. Yeah. It was like this to begin with, and they found it. Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of theories about what the fuck this place is. Some of them think it could be like a corpse of something, like a titan or like a god or something. Other people think it's just like it ha It was like a spiritual site from before the de Renaissance that we just don't know what the cultural context of it was. Um, but this is ancient, ancient magic on these spires, like pre pre de Renaissance uh, magic. Yeah. Well, I rolled a natural one, so I don't know any of that. Yeah. <laughs> but Cherry could probably say that. <laughs> oh, yeah, and Bantham would, would say it as well. Do you think this cult might know something we don't? There's a very good chance. It's a big operation, it's a lot of money. So uh, Bantham, we... clock is really ticking at this point now. Um... What do we do? Do we try and stop them? Uh, might be a bit Which late part do we stop? Yeah, that's the thing. We can't 
we can't att hit all of them at the same time. I mean, you have people, right? Already in. I do. It sounds like everyone's already in position. Uh, maybe Lena and Rody. You have a uh, you have a one hour thirty minute window to maneuver troops yeah. here. Um, you have three bomb locations, two of which are in a very difficult to reach spot. There's not a lot of ways down to the bottom of the pit. Um, yeah. Typically, it's kind of done through access ladders on certain spires. That spire in particular does not have an access ladder. Um, you would probably have to repel all the way down to get there, in which case you're probably going to run into other people. Cherry, bungee mm. jumping. Yeah. But there's bombs. Yeah, do you really want to be near those right now? Didn't you see what happened to your friend? Oh, the little one. No. Flynn? Are you hearing still invisible? No response. I meant the bigger one, but... Yeah, the, the one that splattered yeah. all over the pavement. <laughs> the one that went bungee jumping. He didn't go bungee jumping, did he? Nope. That was one of your friends, Phantom. <laughs> Was it, that was a member of the that was a member of the enforcers who went I'm bungee jumping. Talking for Dusty. <laughs> he didn't go bungee jumping. He, he forgot the rope. Yes, he, he forgot the he, rope. He, 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's like the opposite of bungee jumping. <laughs> he just went hey, free it's, falling. It's half, no, it's half if, of bungee jumping. If you want the most intense adrenaline rush, <laughs> just fucking throw yourself into the void. No rope. Cherry does do that. <laughs> she does do that, and would do that. But uh, there's I'm a big no. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> there's two bombs down there right now. I mean, I could, I could jump down there if you want me what to. What if we I go after Lena now? Really we can try and disturb the plan some some way. Lena's not too far. I was wondering if she's down Rudy at the bottom. Is... Do we know where which direction Lena went? She only in? just left. She only just left. Yeah. Let, I I say go after her. Well, we know where she's going. So Did we you recognize anyone going off. to where I'm going? No. Okay. If we can stop one part of this planet, it might put the whole thing in jeopardy. Yeah, I'm once again tell Polly, like, um I don't I'm not like trying to get DM information, but um just that like everybody seems to be in position. We don't know um, about Rudy yet. Um, the, okay, Lena so is just left. Us. Polly responds, um, right, so I've got all the staff into the bunker, we're not moving from here, because right. the, the thing we're scared of is if we start evacuating from the building, um, we'll I, I just don't see how we're, we're safe anywhere else in here. Like, that, yeah, I don't know, but regardless, it's what the staff want to do, and I'm staying with them. Um, so the most, the thing I'm most important about, you said one of the bomb sites is halfway up the spire. That yeah. would be it's near the bunker. That no, it's not near the bunker, but it's near a lot of our uh, administrative buildings. Um, right. That's the, that's the bomb site that causes the most immediate uh, property damage, and I imagine, depending on the size of the explosives they use, probably hundreds of lost lives. The ones that go off at the bottom, I don't know what they're trying to achieve down there. Um, but no one lives down there, so we're not as concerned about those. If you're going to make a play here, maybe going for the middle one is the most practical. We were considering going for Lena. Which one's Lena going to? She's going to the, the one base. at the base. It's John Perry we need to go after, and we don't know where he is. The one at the base. Well, yeah, you know where the bomb site is. It's marked on the map. You know where they all are. You know where the bomb sites are. You don't know where the person. Is. But but you... that's why that's why I was like, if you want to go get to somebody specific, just go to the site that they're going to. You'll meet them. You'll cut them off. Lena's one of the leaders. Uh, based on based on the movements and stuff, those are the bomb sites they're already setting up at the site. Yeah, I would have assumed that they've already been setting up. Yeah. Yeah, even if we get Lena, like they know. There's already I mean, people they, at still... Lena's. There, there yeah. is already people at Lena's site as well. They are beginning set up. Um, yeah. Lena, Lena was just overviewing the last. It was more Lena's troops are more auxiliary troops. They're like Overwatch and um, patrols and shit, rather than mm -hmm. actual bomb site staff. I was more thinking if we could get someone out of her, something out of her. 
Uh, Polly says, if you go after Lena now before she's at a bomb site, you would have to make very certain that she doesn't contact the group. But even then, yeah. if they're expecting her and she doesn't show up, these guys are already in position. I think... <clears throat> Wait. You guys yes, have magic. Can't mm -hmm. one of you just, like, pretend to be her while we interrogate mm -hmm. her? <laughs> have to be a very good impersonator. But look where the impersonator is. Yeah, she's stood right here. <laughs> You're not the only one with plus I, five charisma, little I man. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, it, it might buy time if they think that you're that, uh, that you're her. We would just have to make the switch without the people around her noticing. The problem with um, the hard. spell sending is that they know if the person, if they know who is contacting them. But why would they send? Why would they send a message to her if they thought she was there? No, I mean, if we were trying to impersonate her through a sending spell, I'm, I, that's... No, I, no, 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 no. Sending is not I, the intention. Not, that's, not, that's not the intention. She's saying <laughs> if you have a spell that could make somebody look like Lena and send that person to the site while we interrogate Lena. You could do that. Literally I, physic, physically disguising yourself, not not sending, like... Yeah, 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 disguise yourself. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't have that spell. I, I couldn't do that. Flynn could. Where'd he go? Flynn? Still with you? No, I mean, we were invisible, so... I'm gonna say over the ring, Flynn, where are you? In a warehouse. A warehouse or the warehouse? The warehouse. Why are you still in there? Uh, the door got locked. Cherry, would you be a darling and please go and unlock the door? The stupid idiot's got himself locked in. You start skipping back that direction. <laughs> <maybe>. <laughs> <laughs> You could have got out as well, you have magic. Like, I don't want to waste magic unlocking it. Yeah. Magic yeah. Unlocking yeah. Game but you didn't tell like, anybody either. Yeah, yeah. That, that's enough. Yeah, I, I was waiting for the... And I just dimensioned door out of there. <laughs> I like how Cherry is rolling spectacularly poorly tonight, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like Fucking three, rolled, man. four... <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, no right, as they're walking back, I'm relaying the plan that we just had to Flint so he can decide what to say by the time he gets here. You know, time crunch and whatnot. No more time. Polly says uh, to Bantam over her communicator, uh, she says, right, okay, so as I can think of it, we have some uh, several approaches. You can try and intercept Lena um, <clears throat> swiftly and quietly and then impersonate her. You could try and we could maybe hit all three sites at once. You think we have the troops for that? Yeah, we definitely do. It's just a case of getting that many people down to the bottom of the spire. I might have to requisition... God, I might... Uh, I might have to requisition a big spell. Oh. Yeah. Um, now yeah. is the time. Leave, leave, yeah, now is the time. Leave that with me. Um, we, we do have things in store, but... I can send some troops, maybe to. Yeah, mid. if you if you if you mobile, if you send your troops, I'll tell you what. If you send your troops to town hall, we'll get we'll get things prepared from here. Um, but that's if that's that's if we decide to go with striking all three points at the same time. Um, the other option is to neutralize the point up halfway up the spire, uh, as yeah. I believe that's the priority that's the point. That's the priority point. If we can neutralize that and just let them do whatever they want to do at the bottom. Um, I feel like they must know something we don't. I think you're absolutely right. Um, it, it may, it, I, I must admit, I'm very nervous. Um, I'm not as certain that we're as safe here as the rest of my staff are, but I don't want to cause panic. Um, I mean, maybe they think they can deactivate the magic? I don't know how they would even begin to do something like that, though. But regardless, well, I'll leave it up to I'll I'll, I'll I'll leave I'll leave it up to the hounds. They're probably the most capable um, troops we have on the ground at the minute. Whatever right. whatever plan we go with, they'll be spearheading it. So relay Love everything that. I've said. <laughs> relay everything I've said and see what they want to do. Absolutely. 
So uh, yeah, three plans, intercept Lena, hit all three sites at once, or focus everything on the middle point. I really don't like what they're doing at the base of this tower. Maybe I don't know either. why, I just have a feeling I... Could we there not... has to be a reason. Could we not split up into two groups and do two of those? Maybe hitting all three sites at the same time would be better. That would have to be splitting up into three groups. We wouldn't have to split the party then. You would definitely have reinforcements what? as well. Yeah, exactly. I don't like this. <laughs> the party's yeah. already split, technically. <laughs> yeah, one Gavin. of them's split in half. <laughs> Gavin's oh. gonna go get a drink before he... Uh... Oh, that's no problem. Yeah. We're at uh, we're at midnight. Um, oh, yeah, well, no, we're not, we're not, we're not. Make a decision, what's the plan, and then we can go from there. Uh, my vote is to hit all three at the same time. Flip. My gut's telling me go for the base, but... Um, we yeah, go, 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 go for all three. Yes. Keo? I'm not sure. I'd rather not split the party. Okay. We don't necessarily have to split the, split the crew. Gavin, you can make a vote of the rings here. Uh, well, I'm gonna go to the meeting spot and hope that it's not some kind of fucking... No, but I'm bullshit. saying, which plan do you think the party oh. should go with? Honestly, I think the middle one is the important one. Middle one's my priority. Yeah, that's the one I think would be to minimize casualties anyway. I'm worried about the bottom, but I... <clears throat> if they bring down the spire, there's going to be casualties anyway. It's all yeah. a gamble, really. Yeah. You're they absolutely bring down right. The, spire. the biggest risk with the biggest reward is going for all three at once. Yeah. If they bring down the spire, though, it cause more casualties. <clears throat> is that? Is that Karen is minimizing casualties? It's hard to know what their numbers are. That's just yeah, assuming what they that you trust casualties. the letter. What they yeah, consider so also, we don't know what their casualties right. rate yeah. is, Sherry, so assume the worst. One more vote. Yeah. Sherry, what's your vote? I think you should go to all three at once. That is three for three. I think you're right. Let's do it. Bantham, you could... Um, okay, so Polly is definitely kind of chiming in at this point. Um, Okay, well, Bamfam, I, I would I would yeah. prefer it if you went to the middle middle point, if you could. Uh, I would prefer that, that too. Um, uh, Gavin, it might mm -hmm. be a good idea if you could actually just try and take out Rodi. Oh no! Yes! <laughs> if, he, yes! <laughs> if he meets you alone, see what you can do. It, I was otherwise... gonna say, um, just for my memory's sake, did he say he was going to meet me? Because I yeah. wasn't sure. Okay. Yeah. He did. Interesting. That makes me even more nervous. All right. <laughs> um. So I actually yeah. do have it written down in my notes here somewhere. This is absolutely a setup. Gavin's gonna die. <laughs> yeah. No. That's how I'm really starting to feel that. Really um, starting to feel that. I did offer to go with you. <laughs> okay. Let's split up the party. So we're we're not saying we're not saying in the promotion. We're in a planning phase. Who wants to go where? Uh, I'm going with Keo. Wherever we go, I need to meet your damage. Uh, we'll go middle. I want to go where Lena's going. Yeah, Lena's going to the bottom. Better than two, so. Okay. okay. Just leaves me. So, um, I can go up to Gavin. So, okay, okay. A and B. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having backup bottom. just because it is C going to be middle. Brody there. But so if you have... need to focus on your points, <laughs> then you yeah. Plus this isn't really a meme, by the way, Brooke. I don't want to be like a, a rules lawyer. <laughs> uh, the other thing is, is keep in mind that the points, the sites at the base of the spire are on opposite ends of the base. <coughs> so basically, even if you're, even if there's two groups going to the base, you're not necessarily they're right not next to each up. other to help. Yeah, they're not necessarily, they're not necessarily right next to each other. However, like get there. probably about. 250 feet. Maybe. Oh, so, we, so, we have, so we have Flynn and Cherry going after Lena. We have Keo and Bantham going after um, yeah, the, I'd the say center about boss. Two, 250 feet. At, well, as the crow flies, so call it like 300 to 400 feet from one side to the other down there. I like, was going to say, could one of Bantham's uh, Legion of Men, could they, could they cover Site C? And I can go to, I can go and help oh, Gavin. 
Bantham has like at this point, especially considering especially considering Polly has now put Bantham in charge of this, Bantham nearly has like a, a uh. put two, yeah, I'd say Bantham can be sending like a dozen men to each side. I'm gonna go and help Gavin in that okay. case then. I don't and, and, really it, as well. and his best as well. Yeah. Um who's going to the bottom then? If okay, so Cherry so which one is which one is the leader going? Uh, yeah, A is at the top or bottom? Bottom. But then bottom. B's. But then B B has no leader. Bottom. How old is Rody? Um, I mean mid thirties, I'd say. Okay. Uh, looks very fit and handsome. And okay. <laughs> I mean, Cherry will go to be by herself if someone tells her to. She's not going to do that on her own, though. I'm wondering why there are two teams at the bottom. Why not one? Because there's two bombs? It's the widest part of the tower. I don't think they're single bombs, are they? You don't know. We don't know. We've not been there. bomb <laughs> sites. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I, I trust Bantam's men to do the job on their own, so I really don't want to leave Gavin on his own, so if the party doesn't have a problem with me going Bantam, to him... I, I would say it probably makes you nervous. You would want someone... Um... Yeah. I think I don't um, think it's... I, I, Polly would request that at least one member goes to each side. Just because, that, like... That leaves me, then. I'll, I'll, I'll have to take B, then. Unless you wanted to be yourself up a bit more, it's up to you. Uh, Jerry, you could you could go to side B if if you want. Wait, where was Keo going? C. 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 So C. here's here's what we have. Gavin is accounted for. We'll call Gavin Gavin D. And then we have <laughs> <Yeah>. Mila, <laughs> Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> Right, um, I really need to be. Let me just put it this way: if nobody is going, if wants to go to B, I will go to B. Okay. Now, keep in mind, you have an even number here. These are these are people who are left. Oh, we forgot about Asmolian. Yeah, he can go to B. He's the smartest one. He could lead a group of people, right? Can he though? Yeah, yeah absolutely, we, he can. We we That's we not... had decided that Cherry and Flynn are going to A. Okay. Asmolian is going to B, Asmo, but, B. But can he though? While this invisible. Sherry. <laughs> he doesn't need to be invisible. <laughs> and Mila. Yes, please, though. Uh, Sherry and I'm gonna go and give. I'm gonna give Gavin some backup. Okay. Interesting. All right, I'll be right back. Good luck. Don't die. <laughs> no promises. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I will say that now you spend the next hour and a half to one p.m. at one a.m. making. Plans, getting troops into uh, into position. Um, uh, a basically the plan that Polly has come up with is that you guys are going to transport yourselves because you guys are capable. <coughs> get there ahead of time, scout out from a distance, um, and then on signal, they're going to teleport in um, a dozen soldiers to each point. Oh, okay, shit. so I have a question. So this is an hour and a half before this is happening, correct? Uh, like this is you're now in hour. planning. Yeah, it's going to take about an hour and a half to plan and mobilize this. Uh, right, right, right. So. That, which is which is why I'm asking the question that I'm going to ask. So, Flynn, can you transform into somebody? Can you turn yourself into someone else? Yeah. Do you <laughs> want to go snag Lena before she gets to the tower? I'm going to say that it took so it, it took at least ten minutes of planning it to get is. to that point. Lena is. Yeah. Especially having to go retrieve Flynn. Yeah. Um, <sighs> and like, it took us it took us on Discord <laughs> at least 15 minutes to get through that plan. Yep. Um, so, sorry. Yeah. Y'all are so indecisive. Well, yeah. It's complex. <laughs> Just do it's, the thing! It's hard. <laughs> it's not like hard. Really fucking chief. Sometimes you, pull, just don't, pull, you just don't have to think. You just have pull to Pull dagger think. out and go. <laughs> They're not hard. Oh, well, I'll give you one. Thank you, Sherry. So I'll pull out my fancy as fuck dagger and be like, I have one too. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> ornamental. Is that usable? It's, it's like fucking like 20k's worth of dagger. 
pure bling, absolutely useless. It's absolutely useless. It's way too heavy. It's, it's way like too a heavy chocolate teapot. <laughs> absolutely fucking useless, but amazing. I feel like a chocolate teapot could be used once to make really, really chocolatey tea. It that would melt. It would help you thick. Would melt very quickly, yeah. Um, Not useful. Right, where we at? Do I have rope? Lina. Yeah, and you have a grapple hook. An old yeah. sword. Okay. Yeah, you have a lot of tools. Mila, are you... Mila, are you going to be invisible during this? Mila's gone to the washroom. I have to ask. No, um, I'm here. Oh. Um, no, I'm just going to try and hide not too far away. Like, not directly in eye contact, just somewhere where I can keep an ear out. How do you feel like trying to interrogate a cult leader? Uh, fuck it. Yeah, I'll cast invisibility. <laughs> okay. My last second spell slot. <laughs> second level spell slot. <laughs> uh, so you're just gonna like hover, kind of in the air. Yeah, yeah I'll kind of like. Imagine, um... I imagine you'd be like at a distance, and then as he appears, invis wings up, go. Yeah, over. since you can yep. hover, can you keep an eye on the area and see if there's other people being brought in and let me know if anyone else yeah, is Yeah, I can coming. do that for you. Yeah, that, that might help a lot. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go and hover up into the air and see what I see. Yeah. I'm going to say over the course of this hour and a half, you guys all get into position. Teams uh, in the middle are nearby. Um, there's not seem to be any... So at the middle point, it is another kind of abandoned building. Um... Not quite as derelict as the warehouse. It just seems like it's a, it's like a shop that's had its windows kind of like spray painted from the inside while they're doing like renovations or something. Um, so it's 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 an empty building at the very least. Um, there are people you can see there are people outside with weapons keeping guard. Uh, there's about probably about four people outside. Uh, there's some people patrolling around as well. Um, um, the people at the base, you guys have managed to get into a fairly safe position. It helps that Cherry's down here. Cherry could give advice on how to avoid kind of the nasties down here, uh, which is mostly just kind of stay quiet and don't knock over any trash. Um, you can, they, there is definitely uh, two sites which are all illuminated. They have like standing uh, torches and stuff down here, um, kind of illuminating the area. There's probably about a dozen um, uh, cult members armed to the teeth at each site. Uh, they are shifting um, a lot of... They, they are attaching these, like, kind of look like very flat crates um, in, like, this interlocking spiderweb pattern all over the base of this... Uh, spire uh kind of like gra like rappelling over to get it like higher off the ground and stuff um at one site big rog is giving instructions <coughs> and then the other it's uh lena um and they can shelter as long as they want down here because there's no fucking uh, there's no fucker down here <laughs> yeah there's no one down here it's genius <laughs> it also it also smells pretty bad down here. Uh, oh i know i know yeah yeah you do know I, I called the trash baby also there. Yeah, they've they've actually had to ex <laughs> they, they've man. actually had to excavate a significant area around these bomb sites, <laughs> which you imagine was probably done days or weeks in advance. Um just to kind of move like heaps of trash and shit and rotting food and anything that you like yeah, just like landfill basically. Um just so they can get to the actual spire itself. Um you're all in position, waiting for the signal. Um, they do not seem to have fully finished. I'll say that this is uh, like quarter two ish. And uh, now let's say no, no. Let's call it one. Um, they do not seem to have fully set finished setting up the explosives yet. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, who was at Lena's site? Flynn and Cherry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, May. Perception checks from your vantage points for me. 
<laughs> That's and not my uh, strong suit. <laughs> um, Flynn, you see something. It's kind of hard to get a good glimpse of it um, at times because there's so many people moving about near the base of the spire. Mm-hmm. But you can see there, there is something small and glowing blue attached to the base of the spire here. Uh, but from this distance, it's impossible to see what it is. Cherry! Yeah? There's something blue at the spire. Go and get it. <laughs> right up. She goes. Uh, we'll, we'll, Sorry, we'll, right we'll, up. <laughs> Tell you, chaps. Um, we'll kind of... Small and blue and glowing. Uh, we'll, we will <laughs> uh, circle back up to the top. Um, right where Gavin is. As uh, Brody appears. Uh, I was hovering up in the air, like looking out for anything. Is it just him? Or... No, no, no. You're waiting for him to appear because your invisibility only lasts uh, 10 minutes. It's an hour, I think. It's an hour invisibility. Oh, in that case, yeah, never mind. Yeah. You're, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, he, he was, he's just kind of like, I don't know, he's like inside somewhere. He, he probably broke into one of the shops nearby and was having like a smoke and a uh, drink <laughs> from a flask. That's what I'm doing right now. I like this guy. Uh, Maybe I will join this cult. <laughs> I don't, think, don't even think about it. He um, well, cast turns out to be a cult. By the way, everybody, just just a reminder: everyone's got 19 temporary hit points thanks to Flynn. Yeah. Do I just... if he's not nearby? No, I imagine you Flynn get it at the start of the day. You yeah. get it every day. I I already have five extra from a uh, good food. Well, it it so gets get replaced with 19. Cool. No, it doesn't. So, it does back. 19, did you say? Yep. Yeah. 19. Oh, okay. He, um, Rody leaves um, the uh, shop he's in. And he kind of saunters over. He kind of sees you, gives you a little nod, walks up to the edge of the railing, puts his hands on the railing, and looks out over at the town hall. Mm hmm. Um, you see that he is wearing a very different outfit than he was earlier today. Um, kind of more like a leather armor, and uh, something that's almost impossible to miss. Holstered at his waist are two huge pistols. Mm-hmm. Um, very very big. One would say similar in size to a beagle. Um, okay. whew. Yeah. Um, Boy, am I glad I'm up here. <laughs> he says, uh, yeah, I'm, g- I'm really glad you made it. What did you need me for? Right, okay, so, uh, yeah, we've got a bit of operation going on tonight. Um, basically, all I really need you to do is just stand watch here. Um, if, you don't, if, if you can do that. Um, there'll be some other people joining us very soon um, to kind of keep watch. Uh, it's not a particularly important location in the grand scheme of things. Um, if you, if you'll if you just follow me, I'll I'll show you to where um, the post I'd like you to stand at. I'm immediately following them if he goes. Yeah. Okay, I'm not walking too close to any ledges, but I'll go to where he's going. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he, he kind of t- like just takes you around, um, just not, not too far, um, down one set of stairs to the f- level below, mm-hmm. um, and it's uh, overlooking uh, the, it's just a kind of like a railing uh, kind of platform overlooking Town Hall. Um, you can't really see anything too important here. It's still just him. Still just him, yeah. Is there a reason you asked me to come armed? Well, yeah. Um, well, like I say, I'd, I'd like you to keep like watch on on this area of the spire. Um, it should be quiet. It should be pretty quiet up here. Um, I don't know if you've been here long, but I mean, did you see anyone else coming or going? No, no one. Okay, that's good. Mainly keep an eye out for enforcers or anyone who's kind of poking around asking questions. Try to show them off if you can, but 
feel free if they're really, you know, if they look like they're looking for something or after something, um, you know, use what you've brought. Um, and yeah, at the end of the night, uh, meet us back at the cult building. Uh, at the, he doesn't say the word cult. <laughs> uh, meet us, meet us. At, at the uh, church. <laughs> yeah, meet, meet, meet us back at, back at the meeting room where we met um, for a debriefing and for your payment. Um, I would advise you to keep a close eye on that building. And he points across uh, the chasm mm-hmm. uh, to Town Hall. Yeah. Um, and as he is pointing out, and you kind of turn and look at Town Hall. Mm hmm. Um, make a perception check for me. Okay. Oh, it's good. It's good. 21's good. Yeah, I just saw the five and got scared. He's, uh, <laughs> he's, he's better though. Um, <laughs> you feel something cold and hard press into the back of your head as he kind of slips into your blind spot. Um, do I see this? Me- yeah, does Mila see anything? Uh, yeah, he's he's pointing a gun at the back of, um... Oh, okay. Uh, he's pointing one of these huge pistols right, <clears throat> like, literally right into the base of Gavin's skull. Guiding balls. Are you sure about that? Um, Mila, I've seen him sure? point a gun at the back of your head. <laughs> Mila, are you sure about that? You should wait. I know, but I just see him point a gun at the back of his head. Mila's smart. Yeah, this seems like the worst time to attack him. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, oh. don't, don't let us, don't, if if that's what if that's what Mila would do, I'm kind of wondering if this is more Damien than Mila. Yeah, Mila I'm I'm bit... much more nervous than Mila is right now, probably. Yeah. Oh, so... oh, oh, oh. Well, I am. I have. Got, I have got my fucking hands ready to go. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will say for certain you're watching this. Um. Okay. So. Yeah, thank God she decided to Because <laughs> I would have uh, rolled a I would have rolled a dead man switch check on him to see if he just instantly pulled the trigger. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I would didn't And I will say this much. I will say this much. Um D D, die systems, XP points, stat cards, health points are all fun. Um however this is definitely a coup de grace situation. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. If a, like how, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Gavin is not in a... This is a very dangerous situation for Gavin. Um, one which I imagine Gavin's probably found himself in before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe not a gun, but probably crossbows. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at the very least. Um, so you decide how nervous Gavin would be at this point. Um, uh, a bit. Yeah. I'm probably not, he's probably not <laughs> hype. Uh, he just says... Okay, then. Who are you? Huh? No, don't turn around. Um, mm-hmm. He kind of he kind of jabs the point of the gun into the base of your skull again and just says, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I, I, had you, I had you read the moment I laid eyes on you. I know what this is. Is this? Uh, you are trying to intercept or spy on our mission tonight. Simple as that. I have been keeping a very close eye out for um, people working with Town Hall. I Mm. thought it was pretty spectacular that we got as far along as we did in our plan without them catching wind of it. I kind of assumed it was an inevitability. And like I said, I read you like a book the moment I lays eyes on you. So go on, you're going to answer some of my questions. And maybe this night will end better for both of us. Right. So, yeah. Who are you? Well, I'm typically a bounty hunter. And, yeah. You're bang on. I was hired to try and find info on you guys. Hide by here. Polly. What, so? How much does she know? (sighs) She knows something's happening tonight. They've got uh, everyone in town hall hiding in a. How much does she know? I don't know how much else she would know. I'm okay. probably not the only person she's got hired. Just deception check in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not entirely a lie. 
No, but the oh. it, the light. Oh, he rolled low as well, but yeah, he's beating you. He's beating you just. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm not buying it, pal. As soon as he says that, I'm gonna cast dominate person on him. Oh. Oh. Okay. DC 20 wisdom saving throw. Okay, right then. I'm gonna. Okay. I feel like this is a really important role, so I'm gonna put it where people can see it. Yeah. Um, I'm, just, I'm just looking what his wisdom save is right now. Tell us the DC first. The it's DC 20. is 20. It's 20. 20. 20 wisdom yeah. save. Okay. Oh shit, I didn't actually give. Oh god, he's the only one I didn't give a stat block to. <laughs> right, I'm just going to. Is it really not? Is it not down here? No, it's not. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to subtle spell that, by the way, just because I don't want to have oh, yeah. the somatic component to it, so I'll drop the two sorcery points. Okay, right. Broke my heart. Stop beating. Can we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, we're joking. Here we go. All right. Slash roll. 1d20 plus. plus. It's big. It's not like stupid big, but it's, big. it's big enough that this is possible. I'm going to use my Ooh. points of inspiration and make him re roll that. Okay. I was just going to ask if I could do the same thing. <laughs> You could. Uh, I guess oh, he'll do that. Oh, God, Can I use my inspiration? Oh, yeah, yeah. Shit. Sure can. Right. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God for that. We just used two points of inspiration to save my fucking life. Oh, worth it, worth it, worth it. <laughs> I had luck as well. I almost never use that. I really should use that more. <sighs> that that was spell. amazing. <laughs> oh, my God. He he tenses up for a moment, and you can Drop see Mila. You can see Mila as he tenses up. He tries to pull the trigger, but you say drop the gun immediately, and he does. He drops the gun. You okay, Gavin? I'm gonna turn around and put him in a toehold. I guess. <laughs> take he's, the gun. Take the gun. He's like he's like choking me, Daddy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's yeah. not. <laughs> Don't blame me. <laughs> Tie him up. Loot him. I'll do the thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you want to choke him out? Or do you yes. Want to put... Okay. Um, I'm going to say that he just automatically fails this because he's not going to struggle. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. Uh, actually, no. Link me dominate person. Does it have a... Does I already have, have, yeah. I think yeah, yeah. he gets... Each time a target makes damage, takes damage, it makes the next there's wisdom throw. This is not dealing damage. A chokehold yeah, is not... Yeah, that's why I wanted to yeah. do this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to say... I'm gonna... Yeah, no, no, because it doesn't do damage. It's just a strike check. It is, uh, it's a... It's a sleeper hold, so you're cutting off blood to the neck. It probably doesn't feel great, but you're not actually. Yeah. If you took away, yeah. If well, you stop doing. If you're asking doing... the right person, it feels pretty fucking good. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, Gavin, you can't. Oh no, you don't. Mila, you see, uh, you see his pants start to rise slightly. Uh, he's out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Blood has to go somewhere. That's <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing that's happened all night. I'm gonna unload his guns and store them in my inventory. Uh, yeah, yeah, you've got his guns. They are beautifully enameled. Um, I'm fucking shaking a little bit right now. <laughs> I am, I am. <laughs> like, I'm trying to write and my pen hand is shaking so bad. I'm trying to roll a fucking cigarette. How do you think I feel? There's tobacco <laughs> everywhere. Guns. guns. I will how say, much, how when much you, ammo? um, <laughs> He has uh, three clips full of bullets for each gun. Uh, that's probably all he brought for tonight. Okay. Uh, there's nothing said, else on him. Uh, there's, there's stuff on him. Nothing particularly mission relevant. I'm taking everything. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You, I'll, I'll say you have... You can do that while I'm like tying him up or something. Because it's mine by birthright. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> it sure is. Also, he said other people were coming. I don't know if that was a lie, but we should definitely get him somewhere. We need to now. go. Yes, right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> should hang him off the edge. 
Mother. I don't know why you didn't just dominate person him off the ledge. Like, I, I, I can't tell him to do something. That would, I can't tell him to do anything that would that that would cause oh. him to harm himself. Uh, I mean, I, I could. You I could can. Talk to him. I'm pretty sure you I can could. with dominate person. Absolutely, you can. Mind you, this isn't Gias, is it? Maybe I'm thinking of Gias. You're I thinking don't... of charm person, but I'm no, for like, sure dominate person. You could tell him to just to walk Gias off a bridge. The of Thrice. Um, and my plan was to use Gias on him if I got him alone, and then tell him to kill himself, or tell him to jump off a balcony or something like that. Um, and then I read the spell, and it turns out you can't do that with Gias, so I think I'm getting those two. Yeah, I think you can with dominate person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is if they take damage, so... Yeah. But if you did, if you told them to jump off, that wouldn't matter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's my point. But I mean, well, I don't think Mila. But if you survive the fall. <laughs> yeah, they got the guns. Yeah, I don't think Mila's that cruel. But I'm just saying. <laughs> you get information out of them with yeah. yeah, I figured we were going to be asking him questions, but we got to be careful here because when he wakes up, we don't know if he has a way to communicate with other cult members. Does so he have any kind of jewelry on him that we might have, or might, I might recognize as a communication device? Yeah. If we can get him somewhere he doesn't recognize, I was like, going to say yes. Room. Let's take him somewhere. Um... The tower. Yes. Um. I'm gonna. Oh wait, no. Asmolian's going as into battle. Is, as we, we is can't. in position. This is things are kicking off at this very moment. Work, One uh, PM wait, the bounty hunters guild. Will they tell him to go? Ooh, for I a don't war. think they'll want. I don't think they're gonna want to touch this. Shit. Tell him um... to go for a walk. And he's to... sleeping now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's um... sleeping. Do you know anybody in this town who could harbor us for, for for some time? I don't really know anyone like friendly like, do I? What about you said something about a girl, a a, a lady who runs the um, ladies' working house? Uh, would she? I don't really want to put them in any danger. I don't see that. I'm just I'm scrambling trying to think. Um, there has so to be an abandoned I... building somewhere away from here that we can find. Hmm. Walk off the cliff. Where did we done. go when we did that escort mission? With that big center the cavern area. Yeah. Are we? Can we reasonably get there? It's a pretty long way. That's kind of very That's low not, down yeah. in your pay. Yeah. I, mean, I could fly him down. The building? Town hall's not far. It's where all the dangers <laughs> going on. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. I could fly him down, and you can rappel down, and hopefully he doesn't wake up by them, but he's tied up, so... He's tied up, yeah. Um, we'll make sure... We'll, like, blindfold him as well. Something. It will take you... A, it will take you... A, two, like, double-digit minutes to kind of carry a body that far. If, if you're taking to where you met up with Bug Dog, um, that will take a while. If you, if you want abandoned buildings, there's empty shops here. Uh, but you want to get away from here. Yeah, I want to get yeah, them away from this. Town, town Hall is empty. Everyone's in the bunker. There's bombs on it! <laughs> yeah, we're not going there. Fuck you. <laughs> There's bombs. Well, as, as far as you know, the bombs actually aren't anywhere near Town Hall. Drop bombs. Just yeah, as far as we know. Man. You can get them at the base. There's the base thing that I'm worried about. If that whole spire goes down, I don't want to be in it. <laughs> My favorite Gavin, spell is fine. Get in touch with somebody in, the, in, the, in, in, in your guild. They have to have somewhere around here we can take him. Make How far a, am I from? Uh, make a, make a, make a. Because I'm semi familiar with the a, town. Yeah, make a survival check for me. I'm going to count this as urban. Okay. Sense, basically. Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. Um, you could just take him to like the next fire over and get break into one of the shops there. All yeah, right. Yeah. They'll be empty right now. Let's just do it. Yeah, I'm. Right. I'm going to pick him up and fly him over there. Oh shit. Um, yeah, so what are you doing? Are you just getting out of the area and laying low? Yeah, I guess that's uh, the only thing we can do. What should we um, ask? I didn't think this through. I didn't either. Um, I just didn't <laughs> want you to die. Um, that was a, gonna... that was a really good move, by the way. <laughs> Thank, you. <sighs> Thank you. I was going to blast him with lightning at first, and I thought maybe that was not such a good idea. <sighs> Kevin, um... like, goes, like, white. <laughs> <laughs> Mercifully, uh, another a voice in my head said, "Don't do that." So I didn't do it. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to say over the ring. Um, we have, uh, we have. Uh, fuck, what's his name? Rody. Oh, we have Rody alive. We're in an abandoned building. Um, 
left phantom though. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, Keo, you can pass it on to Bamfen. Well, well I'm going to say, no, you, you guys are in the thick of combat. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think anybody's going to respond to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, the next place we, that's the next place we would need yeah. to go. So um, we don't have time to play out a combat encounter. Yeah. And now I know where the combat's happening, I can actually draw up maps. Um, which would be pretty interesting to do three combats in three different locations. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Especially considering there's going to be loads of enforcers and uh, people clashing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Um, so, yeah, I guess we'll, I guess we might as well finish here. Probably a as good Gavin idea. calms down a bit, he's going to be like, isn't it kind of cool that the cult leader thought I was a threat and came after me? <laughs> Uh, no, I'll tell you what we can play. We can play. We can basically play up to rolling initiative. I'm not sure if I would call that cool. Um, so, um, <laughs> Anthem, uh, Cherry. Um, uh, just for the record, like nearly honest, like, like kind of slumped against the wall, just like with a head in her hands, just going, "Oh my god," <laughs> shaking like a shitting dog, as we say in the UK. You can't oh, have... uh, to, to just to kind of give a little bit of inside baseball there. You know when you did your deception check in or the performance check, whatever it was, in the meeting? Yeah. I rolled a contested insight, you got a natural twenty. I asked you Ooh. if you rolled something as well, didn't I? Yeah. I assumed she would have. <laughs> that makes sense. That changed that the natural twenty <laughs> she actually changed my plans on that. I was like, yeah. oh I love when that happens. He's gonna he's gonna fucking Fredo this guy. <laughs> 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 it's really like, interesting. That was, that, he was up there. To, he was literally. He just wanted to watch Town Hall explode on his own. <laughs> um. So he was just like, "Fuck it, I'll bring, I'll bring the threat with me and just take care of that, and then that's it. I can just watch." Um. Okay. So. Uh. Yeah. Squad leaders. So we'll say kind of squad leaders here is is Bantham. God, it's Cherry or Flynn. Polly would probably choose Cherry. I think Polly can probably twig pretty quickly that Cherry uh, is... There's pretty... no leader in our group. It's just me and Cherry are on our own. <laughs> well, <Chaos>. that's it. <laughs> okay, that's both, of you, both of you telling the same person to do completely opposite things. <laughs> we both think we're in charge. Okay, I, I like that. I like that. <laughs> Uh, and as Merlin and bang on 1 p.m., um, the go signal is sent from uh, Polly to each of the members. Um, uh, Cherry, you've kind of unfortunately Flynn kind of spotted that little blue thing a little bit too late for you to get really close. But I'll say that you can you you're in a good position. You're in a good sneaky invisible position somewhere <laughs> up in the guts of this encounter. Um, okay. As um, at each location, uh, a small squad of 12 uh, enforcers just kind of like uh, Avengers portals through <laughs> full into a full charge um, running down uh, these court members who are all taken by surprise. Um, and that is where we would roll initiative for each of the locations. Breach. Woo! Oh, that was that was a fun session. Yeah. It's yeah, it's an unusual session. Don't get to do that stuff very often. Yeah, I, I, I like I like <laughs> I actually like that the stakes I've set here for you guys are like getting you guys amped up. My mom's just walked into my room asking me if I'm okay. Yes, I'm fine. But some really <laughs> intense imaginary shit just went down. <laughs> <laughs> All I can tell is that it's just going to be fucking chaos with me and Jerry. Oh, easy. I'm I can't wait curious. to point this guy's gun at him. <laughs> I'm very curious how Asmo is going to do on his own. And also, like, I would say, um, Mila and Gavin, you guys know that they, these guys are fighting down there. Do either of you want to be like, we can yeah. get help? I was thinking about that. I was, I was like. thinking as well. But, like, also right now, it's just like, okay, we capture the cult leader. What do we fucking do with him? <laughs> yeah. Well, he's going to be no sleeping for a while. Up. He's going to be out for, like, a couple hours. Yeah. 
Like, you can't even really question him right now anyway, because he's going to be sleeping. <laughs> that was cool. Damn, that was probably you had the your... most intense bit of D&D I've ever played in my life. That was fucking dope, Brooke. Thank he, you. He had your fucking <laughs> number, Gavin. He had you fucking dialed in. Yeah, no, it's like, it's so shitty, but like, yeah, at the same time, Gavin is going to kind of look back on this and be like, that was kind of cool. <laughs> like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you said that to Melion, was like, yeah. what about this is cool? <laughs> <laughs> you almost died. I kind of I I like that. I almost died, but I didn't. I, that a little bit of cool. rush. I was Rush like, if you had done that, I was probably just gonna sit there and just tell him everything I knew, and he was gonna shoot me anyway. I'm really <laughs> glad you came. So am I. <laughs> That's interesting because I was really curious how Gavin would respond in that situation alone. Um, which he doesn't really was... have any loyalties to keeping anything a secret. So if yeah, there's a gun pointed in his head, he's not gonna hesitate. How would you have got out of it though, on your own, knowing like hearing the hammer being cocked? What would your instant reaction to try and dodge it be? I mean, yeah, I guess I'd have to roll something to try and dodge it. Because my plan going into that was to wait for him to walk away, because I thought he was going to, and then I was going to bullet him and then show cold. Yeah. But, yeah, I didn't get to that part. It's kind of like, uh-oh, <laughs> what was the backup plan? He, he, did, he, did, he definitely did the look over there as he pointed at Town Hall, and he just yeah. kind of like, took a tiny fraction of a step back, quick draw, back to the head. I think yeah, I'm gonna I end the cool. recording there. Yes, I am actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. Um, yeah, there's been some people in chat. Thanks for coming. See you later. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Thanks for watching. Madness.